Hiya, sis. You never call. You never write. Spiteful bitch! All I did was save some poor kid from ending up with a mother like you. By telling lies about me and your scumbag of a dad. Not lies. <sighs> well, I've got all afternoon. And all evening, if that's what this takes. Because you and me, we're having this out. Once and for all. Yeah. Get a new wardrobe, chuck the class A's, but still. Somewhere, sometime, you passed his waiting for you around the corner, ready to kick you in the teeth when you least expect it. How do you think I feel? I've made a great life for myself here. Nice husband, big house. Why did you say that to the adoption panel? About me and your dad? Because it's true. You two are always going off together. I'm his real daughter and he never even noticed me. And without a word, you disappear and leave me with him and her. And why do you think he was always taking me off places? Me and Beck's going for an ice cream, we won't belong. What are you saying? You know what I'm saying. I was 15. He didn't tell him that bit. As soon as I knew what he was after I was out of there, I had no choice. And I did get a flipping ice cream, neither. Did Mum know? I don't know. She's always out of it, wasn't she? I suppose we'll never know now, unless we get Derek or Cora to ask her from the other side. She's dead? Yeah, didn't you know? This dump got a kettle. Carrig? Sort of surname to that. Don't go through this stuff. It's a gas bill, not a bank statement. So you are Kylie Carrick. You sound like an Australian pushchair. So what is it he does then? He's a pimp, gun runner. Pilot, actually. So I get these free flights all over. It's beaut. Treats me like a princess. Car, credit cards, the lot. Look at your face. Very jealous. I looked after you, you know. By legging it. What about that holiday that went on? Came back from school to a note on the fridge door and about tens worth of groceries on the kitchen table. Mallorca, weren't it? Two weeks. I was barely 14 and you were obsessed with my little pony. Lie. You were. Barely let silver moonbeam out of your sight. You always had a bit baffled with you. Didn't go hungry though, did we? Thanks to my special shoplifting jacket and fresh girls. Who was that lad you were seeing? Huggy. Mmm. Yeah, and he dropped me like a safe when I won't leave you on your own. Sisters before misters. Oh, yeah? Oh, fuck, we're really clever coming up with that. But you did leave in the end, though. Didn't you? Yeah. And look how it's turned out for you. It's so brilliant. You've got all this. I need a proper drink. Oh, it's the same. Hey, will have been his pilot's uniform, although I'm not in uniform. Who the hell are you? Um, I'm Becky. I'm, I'm Kylie's sister. Who the hell is Kylie? What are you doing in my house? I'm sorry about your old way. Hey, hey, stay there! Right. Flaming lamppost. Oh, look, calm down, eh? She sounds like she's in trouble. Yeah, well, she will be when I get hold of her. Do you know what, like, just forget it. It's absolutely hopeless. If Kylie didn't want to be found, she just won't be found. Stop! I don't believe this. So this pilot. Clean for him for a while. Still had my key. It's 
supposed to be away another week. And what now then? I don't know. I've got mates. Do these mates have homes? Some of them. Do you want to come back with me, then? Why the hell would I want to do that? Because you ain't got nowhere else to go. You think I want to watch you and your old man playing happy families? Looking down your noses at me? Fine. Suit yourself. Where'd you live, anyway? Rover's Return, Coronation Street. You live in a pub? Love. Alex playing everything is deep. Must be brilliant having your own home. What's your old man like? Come in and find out. Hello? This is my sister. Kylie. The one who. The one who's gonna be stopping with us for a little bit. Becky, can we just... Let me just get over that. I'm not a dog. Just go with me on this one, baby, please. Oh, look, I'm not staying where I'm not wanted. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sisters before misters, right? Oh, no. It's just up downstairs. She's my family. Love. Act. Uh, Ryan nearly did it for me, so... Uh, I've just got to try and do it for her. I don't know you stay so skinny eating like this. Mm. Well, I have a workout machine and it's called a Big Steady. That's something else I'm wondering about. You and him. Oh. Hey, mm. Hey, Ames. Liz. This is my little sister, Kylie. Hi. Mm -hmm. I am very pleased to meet you. You seem to be settling in. Yeah. Well, you make yourself at home. Amy, are you going to say hello to your Auntie Kylie? Mm -hmm. Hello. Oh. Ah, you a doll. Come and give us a cuddle. <laughs> hey, it's a good job I've had my breakfast because you look good enough to eat, Princess. Come on for me. Oh, sounds love. It's last at bacon and eggs. You're not waste away any road. <clears throat> Toast, Princess. Yes, please. <laughs> hey, proper manners. Well impressed. I'll get her it. Can you show me where toaster is? So, what's the plan? Plan? With Kylie. I'm going to take her over to Rise. Well, yes, she must be peckish. No, I want to meet our own Ailey. No, sorry, I mean, what's she going to do? What do you mean, do? Well, if she can't go back to where she was living, where's she going to go? Well, why does she have to go anywhere? Stevie, my sister, my homeless sister. Us, big pub, plenty of room. This is not a problem, right? Where's your jam? I'll show you, love. Because you're going to need to know where everything is. <clears throat> you better hide your wallet and do Miss Piggy Bank. Are you cool about this sex change thing? Yeah, well, I nearly are cool about everything. I tell you, if it weren't for them, I'd. Well, I didn't want to go there. Right, Royston Cropper, meet Kylie Turner. Half sister. Hello. Hey, that surgeon's an okay job. I didn't know you could hardly tell. Oh, no, no. <laughs> no, 100% pure beans are Royston. They always has been. Hey, Haley, Kylie. Oh, wow. Oh, it's so lovely to meet you at last. Oh, you too. Oh. <laughs> oh, and she's staying with us in Pope. How cool is that? That's cool. <laughs> How did you find each other? Oh, um. Just do the adoption thing. Oh, it is awful how that turned out. I, they're making a big mistake. Well, uh, clouds and silver linings, eh? Hey, you couldn't have timed it better, though. It's me end night tonight. No better way of getting to know people than getting trolled with them. Oh, well, 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 I'm sure we'll be having a glass or two, but I don't think we'll be all be doing it. Mind you, a couple of glasses of sparkling wine, and I cannot be held responsible for my actions. I get giddy like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> Won't you give me a clue? You will enjoy it, Ailey, and that is all I'm saying about it. Hey, right, good news. Sally's managed to get a Sophie's Church choir to sing at the wedding. Kids here go to church and sing in the choir. Where have you brought me back? Dibbler. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and listen, we have lined up 
the most stonking surprise for your actual wedding. Surprise? Probably not keeping surprises. <laughs> we will be about this one. Aren't you the lucky one? People lining up for the job as wedding planner. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, don't be selfish. Lay your chin. You want to stay well clear. People used to say the same to me about you. And nights are about getting hammered. Taking a stripper's thong off with your tea. Not going to happen tonight. That much I do know. Don't underestimate it, are really? Mm. Shawnee. Bye. Thanks. I swear Kylie's come and end her, will you? Now, Shawnee will show you a good time. Awesome night. Always guaranteed. Sorry, I can't come. What? Just a Sally on phone saying she can't come neither. That settles it then. Everyone else is dropping out. Why can't you come? She's had a call from Violet to say she's got a tummy bug. Hopefully just a 24-hour thing, but Jamie's working away, so she needs to go down and help her out with Dylan, so she's going to go and check the train time. Well, were you back for wedding? Never mind the wedding. I need to be back by Sunday for Manchester Pride. Laters. <laughs> Laters. I have just seen what I want for Christmas, and you wouldn't even need to wrap it. Evening, ladies. Kylie, again. Kylie. Don't suppose you're going on this hen do? Well, a night on the town with a gang of beautiful women. Not a chance. I'm just a lowly barman. I don't suppose. Lady. Have you seen her watching Kim? I think she's actually drunk. And I just can't think what she sees in it. Well, then, you have been far more interested in watching Eileen and Owen. You what? No, not me. Liz. You almost breathed a sigh of relief when Eileen came back to the bar. Oh, hang on, we have action. All done. Yeah, I must have left some receipts back at the yard. I never knew Becky had a sister. Ah, black sheep at family, me. And given our family, that's black. I don't believe you for a second. We'll look at you and I can tell that butter wouldn't melt. So, now you know everything there is to know about me. What about you? Wife? Girlfriend at home? Sadly, the women around here seem to have better taste. I bet it's you's been choosy. There's one or two women around here, you know, getting wrinkles, backside spreading. They've got that desperate air about them. If I don't land a bloke soon. In fact, you can smell it. Yes, Norris. In the words of your namesake, you should be so lucky. Yeah, lucky, lucky, lucky. First time I've heard that, really. Well, just for the record, not only is Kieran way out of your league, so am I. Your perfume, what's it called? Past it. This machine is so rigged. Same again. What am I, invisible? <sighs> if only. Thank. You want to play it like that? I don't think so. Uh, Big Sister's pub, remember? Excuse me, there's only one name over that door and it's mine. Have you okay? Hmm? It is now your rear. Nice pump. Tell your uncle Kieran all about it. There's a Michelle ganging up on me. And why do you think that is? Too good looking. They can't stand the competition. <laughs> I'm all for competition, but personally I reckon three-way dead heat. Nice guns. Shame about the eyesight. Complete fool of yourself. Turned this place into a shambles and lost me two bars. We'll be back. And how long is she supposed to be stopping? I don't know. Well, I'll tell you this. Any more of that kind of behaviour and she'll be bad for a minute. Oh, uh, no, no, come on. She won't be his sister. She'd be bad already. Yeah, and I, but I don't want to put anything more on Becky, especially after we got turned down at that stupid adoption panel. Well, neither do I, but remember, I am the one who's legally responsible in here. We know, we know. It's... Hey, babe. I haven't seen Kylie. She's in bed, wasn't she? No. Maybe my prayers have been answered. Well, if they have, let's just try it and look sorry, shall we? Won't be easy. Well, she must have sneaked out. She take her stuff with us. She ain't going out. Well, she knows where you are if she wants to get in touch. Mm. <laughs> I'm going to have to go and look for her, aren't I? Where? She could be anywhere. Yeah, I know. It's talking about this cell or what she sometimes stops at. I think I'll just start there and... Right, well, I'll come in. I don't know what all the fuss is about. 
She didn't set eyes on her for years now. All of a sudden, it's my precious sister. Where can she be? Never worried her before. Thanks for pointing that out. What knows my sister then, Kylie Turner? Why do you want to know? Sir, don't get smart on me. Because we need to find her. Nothing bad. Just want to know where she is, that's all. So do you know or what? What's it worth? Tell her. And a busted nose if you don't tell us. It's a good one. She has a little secret, has Kylie. Has she told you about her little secret? Well, then I think it should be worth a bit more. Twenty. Twenty quid. <laughs> and I want to know her address. <laughs> and what this little secret is. Yeah, okay, okay. Hello. <laughs> Why won't she sit out? We've had been close, have we? Yes. Um, we're looking for somebody. Kylie Turner. We were told she might be here. And you are? But I'm a sister. And can you prove her? Yeah. If you let me talk for long enough, you'll see I'm just as daft as she is. <laughs> they do for me. She's in the back. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come in, ready or not. You've got visitors. What the hell are you doing here? Is this right what we've been told then? Have you got a son? Yeah. Max, love. Come and say hello to your Auntie Becky. Hey, Max. Hello. So, have I got this right then? Yeah. These four kudos, it is a foster in him, cos what? We can't look after him or you won't. Cos they won't let me. Why not? They just won't. Yeah, but they have to have a reason. So what is it? Drink, drugs. I left him tied to the kitchen table and you went and ordered spin. You don't know what it's like. What's what like? Bringing up a kid on your own. No, I don't. I wish I did like it, but no. And for a while, yeah. Just couldn't manage. So they took him off me. But then now when I'm OK and I want him back, Say no. Who's dead? <laughs> Not telling you. And do you mean it? You want him back, but they won't give him you. I'm allowed to see him a couple of times a week. It's like torture. Yeah. Say to them, why can't you have him? What do they say then? Just I can't. No, but they have got to tell you why. Well, I have nowhere to live. I haven't got a job. How many reasons do you want? Right. So we say you've got somewhere to live, we say you're living here, will that help? Might. Well, will it or won't it? Well, not really, no, cos they won't believe me. They never believe anything I tell them. Yeah, well, I understand that. Oh, do you? Well, do you think you can stop going on at me? There ain't anything I can do. Perfectly good barmaid, and you would know right sacking her in the first place. You know, when I married your son, I became your daughter-in-law. Might want to have a little think about that. I just want my pub to run smoothly and not kill myself in the process. Uh, she went for our Kylie. Your Kylie? Your son's sister-in-law. The chick. Don't fall out over me, Bex. Oh, what a sweet little lamb. Well, you know what, Liz? We're just going to have to see what Stevie says about all this, aren't we? You Yankees, Jane, he'll say it. But Michelle's stopping. I'd buy me own boozer and kick out anyone I didn't like for no good reason. Oh, sounds perfect. Molly Face, out. Giving it all out about property prices. <laughs> Do one. Tight ones who never tip. Hey. Whose is this? That is Steve's. It was making a point. Looks brand new. He's ridden it once. Fallen off it twice. What a waste. He's got all the gear to match as well. A few hundred quids worth of kit rotting away in some cupboard. 
It was a very expensive midlife crisis. Right, are we fit? Going into town. Oh, she's going to treat me to something I don't like. You got to look the part, Kai. We don't want to fall at first hurdle. Try to get my kid back. It's all go. <laughs> what do you think to this one? Yeah, nice, whatever. Nice? Vicar's wife. Didn't that say Vicar's wife to you? I, I, I don't know any Vicar's wives. Or, or Vicar's. Leave him alone now, Kai. He's a baby man. I'll wait till I flower arrange in night class. What's your problem, Anne? No Vicar's wife ever seen dead in that. Honest? <laughs> like the right top's gonna convince social services I'm a fit mother. We've just got to play their game. They all systems against me. I'm a scumbag. You're Max's mum, Max. End of. Oh, it's Pete. You couldn't come to a wedding, Kai. It was dead romantic. Hitched without a hitch? Yeah, there was a slight transportation problem, but it just made the day more special, really. A blessing in disguise. How wonderful. Forensics are all over it, mind. Just in for big fat fingerprints. Proper Quincy job in it. Mm, white boiler suits, the works. Not that I really need it, mind. Oh, loved up on cloud ten. Mm. Where were you at five o'clock? I was having a bit of Stevie time. It's like Chico time, only Stevie. Oh, all right for some. My feet are killing me. Well, it's your lungs I worry about. They say there are children, learn by example, don't they? I know you've been avoiding me. You need to set Beckett straight about Michelle. Consider it done. Or better still, find it out amongst yourselves. Where's your bike gone? Have you moved it? What? My bike's gone! Here's your CV. And Michelle's P45 on the plate, please. My bike's been nicked. Joking me. And what are you looking at her for? Because Mum said Carly was admiring it only this afternoon. Where is she? Plain detective. I believe you call him a sister a thief. I'm putting two and two together and making a big fat fall. Why would I want to rob it? I was going to ask if I could have a go on it. Really? And you think she's been on Robin Hall, don't you? I just... It does, yeah. Said it wasn't beyond the realms. He's such a wuss. Pathetic. Give a dog a bad name. Your eyes were like saucers when you clocked that bag. But where is your evidence? Because, you see, she's been with me all afternoon. Apart from an romp bog. And I think I would have noticed if that big heap of junk had been with you. All right, fair enough. Come on, Mum. Should have clocked off an hour ago. And before you go, my sister needs an apology. And on heart, I didn't rob your bike. OK. Great. Case closed. I'm going now. One fifty, two hundred, two fifty, and five two seventy five. Is that it? Cash in hand, fifty fifty, like we agreed. It were a motorbike, not a flaming penny farthing. It's a buyer's market twinkle. Plus, there was a hulking great dent in it. It's daylight robbery. It's a pleasure as always. Where are you off next? Quite like it round here. Bit of catch up time with my sis. Cause you're a big on family, you. So your brother-in-law, cheers. He's been sat there for months, if you must know. He's got that many toys, he's lost count. I've got a brewery lunch at one, I've got the accountants at three. Great, you can squeeze us in at two. No, I cannot squeeze you in. 
on it. Trying to catch the lifting mats as part of this afternoon, but Mr. Busy Pants here, Mr. False Accusation. Come on, Bex, it were an easy mistake to make. Trash like us. Must have been there loads of times. We are not trash. Whatever. And did you bring your insurance company? Yes. What did you say? The usual, 10 million page form to fill in, then if I'm lucky, I might get a cheque for half the amount sometime before Christmas. Hmm. Well, if you just hold that flaming bite like you should have done, then none of this would have happened. Oh, yeah. So it's my fault it got nicked, is it? Not garlic. Oh, could we please just stop going on about it? Yeah, shut up, I'm not going to feel bad. We'll get a cab to Max's party. And you can pay. You know we uh, okay, c c can I help you? This is her I was telling you about. Oh. Becky McDonald's sister. She makes Becky McDonald look like the Virgin Mary. If, uh, if you could avoid handling the goods, cos someone may want to buy that. How much is this? Forty-four ninety-nine. Is it square water? I have the slightest idea. No, but it has giant ladders, blue flashing lights, and a siren to split your eardrum. Cool. How old's a little boy? Four. Then he'll love it. Okay, I'll take it. <laughs> and uh, just how do you propose to pay for it? I'll take that and I'll. Oh, right, love. Well, that's uh. Forty-six ninety-nine altogether, then, love, please. Thank you very much indeed. Three pounds and one pence change. And I hope he enjoys it, love. Thank you. These little coins really get on my nerves. Not such an unlucky day after all. <gasps> wow. Is that for Max? Got it from that news agent, St. Corner. Don't worry, I paid for it. Bomb. What? And a card and all. I pawned my rings. Why add a subject? I'd rather pay my own way. Nia. Well, I'm at it. For that top you bought me yesterday. No, Kai, you don't have to do that. I want to. Well, you can't have much left after buying that lot, unless your rings were solid gold or something. Just take it, OK? Like me, you aren't you? Proud. People can think what they like. I know I'm as good as anyone. Exactly. Yes, and the more you stop doing stuff like thieving or whatever, you know, the better you feel about yourself. Yeah. Honestly, listen, when I first moved round here, I got the blame for everything, right? If it rained, they said it were my fault. But I can look people straight in the eye now. I just want Max back. Well, you carry on like this, and you are so going to get him. He's been bubbling away all morning. <laughs> Somebody's a lucky boy. Must have cost a bob or two. I'm sure Kylie will explain where she found money from. <laughs> Nothing illegal, I hope. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's got a siren, I'm afraid. Well, I'm sure we can live with a siren for an hour or two. She thinks the world of him, you know. And we can tell. It just seems crazy that she can't have him all the time. With any luck, she will have him again. Yeah, how long do you think that? Oh, it's uh, hard to tell. Well, Weeks, months? No, this season. You're optimistic though, right? In the long term. These things, they're never done in a hurry. You going to light the candles, Kylie? Oh, yeah. <sighs> now, make a wish before you blow them out. Being with mummy forever. Oh, don't say it out loud. Why? Because it won't no, it come back. No wish is a wish. Hey, Ashley Claire, have you heard about Sophie and Sean? Yes. Well, sorry. There's no getting away from it anyway. Best news ever, or what? Yay! That is the best news ever. Hiya, how's Addy? Much better, thanks. He's coming home next week. So glad you care. Look. 
We've had enough of this victimisation. It's making Claire ill. Oh. Dev didn't mean anything funny. You know Sophie and Shan have run away. They've had a clear conscience about Addy. Why would they do that? I can't stand this anymore, Ashley. I'm going to go and stay at my mum's. It'll settle back down. And how long's that going to take? It's in my face every time I go out the front door. I'm going and that's final. It's a long time since I saw you plumping up cushions. You feel really you have to be here if you've got better things to do. Haven't put yourself out for me like that in a long while. Look, he's going to be here any minute and I'd rather he didn't walk into one of our petty squabbles. Oh, so you'd like me to watch my P's and Q's, right. A any more requests? Well, either behave in a civilised way or disappear for a couple of hours, all oh, right? God forbid that I should tarnish the memory of the blessed Susan. Ken Barla. You must be Lawrence. Yes. Come in, come in. Thank you very much. Uh, this is my wife, Deirdre. Pleased to meet you. <sighs> Likewise. So, you found us okay? Oh, no problem at all. Good, good. Well, um... How does a cup of tea sound? A cup, cup of tea, tea sounds, sounds great. great. Bye, Mama. It's time to go now, Kylie. Already? Well, that's the rules, I'm afraid. It's a shame. Since I've only just got here. It's an improvement on having to have a social worker here to supervise. Yeah, but five more minutes wouldn't hurt, would it? He in the toilet. Can I take him to the loop? Oh, go on. Oh, okay. Must be heartbreaking for him. No way round it for now. He's had an accident, bless him. He's been dead excited. Kylie! Kylie! You okay in there? Stupid girl. They've gone all right. Okay, leave this with me. She, she, she can't be far. If only it were that simple. No, no, don't call social. Not yet. She... I'm calling the police. What? We've got no option. No, because you, you, you're you going to get in trouble. We'll get ourselves into trouble if we don't. No, just, just give me like half an hour. I'll find her. Is this on top of the five more minutes you asked for earlier? Give me a saying I don't do this. Police, please. Does he think we planned this? Yes. I'd like to report an abduction. The police are on their way. Terrific. Well done. We have a responsibility to Max. What a chance. She's his mum. She had kidnapped him. He couldn't be in better hands. If you really believe that, you don't know your sister very well. Well, she's no angel, but I bet you won't be if you're at her start. Kylie's not our concern. Well, no, you've made that quite clear. You'd rather drop her in it with cops and social than let me deal with Why it. Why should we trust you? You come into our house uninvited, and within a couple of hours, Max has been abducted. I'm warning you, if anything else... Nothing is going to happen, I'll make sure of that. You better hope you're right. Struggling with a piece of tarpaulin for six months. Well, that's not the point. I knew it was there. So did I. I've shed a fiver for every time. I bought myself on my mandel bars. I wasn't ready to part with it. Psychologically. Like that denim jacket. You know, I haven't worn it for years. I know it's in the wardrobe, but I don't know if I ever want to put it on. You look ridiculous. The end of an era when I chucked that jacket away. An admission that a time in my life has passed. You must have been through the same with some of your old clubbing. Hmm? Uh, where's Becky? And why, why, what, who, why? Thank you. Oh, so what's the latest? She's in a room, won't talk to me. Oh, she's bad news, Oh, she's filmed there. Almost maybe. You married into it, not me. 
I don't want the police in here making another scene. It won't. Look, Becky's on her way. She'll straighten everything up. She better. <sighs> it's meant to be snug. It's snug. If you breathe out, them buttons are going to take out every bottle in the place. Well, I don't know. I wonder why she's barging on them. Right. What the hell are you wearing? Right, what's this going to solve then? Don't try and stop. That's exactly what I'm doing. I'm not letting you play into their hands. I already have. So long as we stop here, they can do what they like with us. Let me go. So this is what you want then, is it, Kai? A life on the run. Well, I reckon you could cope on your own. Yeah, but with him in tow. Come on now, how long do you think you're really going to last? Oh, come on, sweetheart. It's all right, love. Everything's fine. Me and your mum are just going to have a little chat in the back and we'll just sort a few things out, yeah? Right, I'm just going to tell Stevie that we're not to be disturbed. And then I'm going to sit the kettle on, all right? What are you going to do? What I have to... Oh, I carried him, gave birth to him, and now they're laying down the law telling me what I can and cannot do with him. Do your head in. I pick him up, and there's them two on pins. If a flaming grizzly bear were cuddling him, they couldn't look more nervous. What do they think I'm gonna do? Run off with him. Seemed like a good idea at the time. I couldn't stand the way they were staring at us. Yeah, well, it's fair enough that they don't trust you, and yeah, they might look down the noses at you, but they do care about Max. Making me feel like a stranger to my own son? A flaming threat? Went social, took him off me. It was like I worked there, like it went up to do with me. Must have brought you out. Yeah. And if I were you, maybe I'd want to run off with him, make a fresh start. But you know what, Kai? It just ain't that simple. Listen, if we're going to get Max back, we have to play it their way. Nah. They're never going to let me have him. At least he might remember who I am now. <laughs> who I was. Yeah. Oh. Sorry. It's, I got grassed up by shaking Stevens. No, it wasn't Steve, it was me. You. I might have known. You were never going to let that adoption thing go. No, it's got no to do with that. I want to help. By getting us arrested. If this is helping, I'd hate to think what you'd do if you had it in for me. Come on, son. Oh, one more step and I'll deck you. Right, ignore her, she's upset. She's only making things worse for herself. There you go again, talking about me like I'm not here. OK, I know you've got a job to do, but let her say goodbye. If you wait in the bar, I'm going to bring him out to you. I can't take the risk of them absconding. Well, they won't. If I'd have wanted that, why would I have called you in the first place? I'm sorry. My primary responsibility is the safety and welfare of the child. Right, and you think turning away from his mum is the best thing for him, do you? I know we've got to give him back. But let's just make this seem as normal as possible, eh? He's confused as it is. All right. You can have a few minutes. But I'm holding you personally responsible if anything happens. We'll be watching this door. Look for a pub. I've been policemen perched at the bar. Besides which, gives the place a bad name. And uh, makes a lot of the punters nervous. Well, it's only for a few minutes. Becky just wants to give her sister a bit of breathing space. Talking to which I see you've ditched the denim. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, in that style. Just a bit old hat. Really? Yeah. Plus, it was um, cutting circulation off to my arms. Oh, I always looked out for you, and it wasn't my fault I had to leave. Oh, so what's your excuse today? I don't need one. I've just stopped you making the worst mistake of your life. Listen. Listen, there is no one on this earth got more reason to hate the police, the social, the old flaming lot of them. They have made it their mission to screw up my life. So why bring them here? Because right now they hold all the cards and if you're going to beat them, you have to follow your head and not your art. And I have learned that the hard way. <sighs> you want Max back? Right. Of course I do, yeah. Right, well... If you'd have disappeared off into the sunset with him, then they would have caught up with you. 
and you wouldn't have seen him for a very long time and you definitely wouldn't have got custody. I've told you, there's no chance of me getting that. No point in kidding myself. You are Max's mum. End of. There's no other can do about it. We just have to pick our battles and Kai, this isn't one of them. We've got to play it by the book right now. Why do you care? Because you're my sister. And he's my nephew. Come here. Listen. This is going to be really hard now. But we have to give him back. And we have to make out like we're sorry. And we've just got to hope to God that we can convince them to overlook this. I just hope there's not another exit in there. I've already told you, she knows she's done wrong. Max looked all right. Ah, fine. Look, you can tell Kylie really loves him. It's like my wife said, she just made a stupid mistake on the spur of the moment. My sister's got something that she wants to say to you. Dad, sorry. I shouldn't have done it. Too right, you shouldn't have. We've been worried sick. She just wanted to spend her son's birthday with him and she went about it the wrong way. Come on, it's hardly an hanging offence. It's still an offence, nonetheless. It was a rush of blood. There's no real harm done. Look. I don't see any need to take this further. Though I have had to inform social services, I'm afraid. Right. OK, love. It's time. Happy birthday, mate. I'm really glad you like your fire engine. And I'll come and play with it soon, yeah? It's all right, love. You, you can have him back for keeps before long. I can't. Okay. Okay, come in. Right, you can borrow him. But you better take good care of him, because we want him back in one piece. this, I promise you. We're going to get him back and then there ain't nobody taking him away. That's not all. She only decides to run off with the lad, doesn't she? Are you joking? No. And where does she run? Here. Oh, flipping me. Oh, we've had the police. Everything it were right to do. So what happened? In the end, she had to give the lad back, didn't she? Mm. I couldn't help feeling sorry for her. She only floods of tears. Yeah, well, any mum bad enough to have a kid taken off her don't deserve sympathy in my book. And what book's that, then? How to be a snotty cow? No, actually, how to be a half-decent parent. Emphasis on the half. And what would you know? Oh, you. So keep your beak out. All right, let's just calm down, eh? Oh, God, what's going on now? She's accusing me of being a rubbish mum. Well, I'm not. Is it my fault his dad ran off as soon as I showed him the blue line? Well, he was probably running away from you, you cheeky tart. Oi! I brought that kid up best I could. And he had no family on tap to help. Oh, love, we've all got sob stories. Our Ryan's dad died when he was a nipper, but you don't see me living off it. <laughs> all right, cut it out. You finish that and you go and cool off somewhere. Come on, now. Oh, leave us alone. Put out now, shall or I shall meet to deal with. Oh, I'm terrified. That is the last time I tell you all. <laughs> Roger. Ignore her. She's only jealous because Kieran played, were you? She can't stand the competition. I couldn't give a toss about her. That's why you sat out here feeling sorry for yourself. I got a phone call this morning. I have to be in court next week. What have you done now? Nothing. It's a hearing. When they decide whether to keep Max in care or not. Right. Well, we best get us act together then, start planning what you're going to say. What's the point? They've already made their minds up. Are they heck? Well, if they haven't before, they will have now. I broke their stupid rules, didn't I? We're enough for my own kid. Now it's payback time. No, I can't think like that. You don't know what they're like. You raise your head, look them in the aisle, you get a slap for it. I know exactly what they're like. They've just taken away any chance they had of having a kid. And yeah, you're right. Yeah, 
Kick him in the what's it. Ain't gonna get us no. Well then. We've got to be cleverer than that. We've got to play him at their own game. We've got to give them what they're asking for. How? I ain't got a husband. I haven't got a home. In fact, I've got no. You, you've got me. Sorry. A few years too late. Hi, Mrs. Windass. Oh, it's Anna. I've told it's Anna. Mm. You gonna let go now? Sorry. <laughs> Here, let me get you a drink. No, don't be daft. I'll get them. The same again, yeah? Uh, yeah. Well, we have a couple of days. Uh, yeah. make it free. I'll buy your own ale. I don't mind getting it. Ah, no, you're all right. I'll get them. No, no. You're really soldiers, then? Yeah. Private Windass, Sergeant Quinn. In your dreams. He's chief cook and bottle washer. I'm the front line. <laughs> so have you seen any action then? Plenty. And I'm hoping I'll see a lot more. Are you now? Well, I believe in supporting our lads. Trouble is, which one? See, I like the lip, but there's something about strong and silent. Beauty and thick, you mean? Oi! Either way, someone's lucky day. I'm very patriotic, mate. As in lie back and think of England? Oh, no. I never just lie back. I'm very much hands-on. <sighs> Oi! What do you think you're doing? What's it look like? A hooker touting for business. You what? Oh, what a down son. You don't know where she's been. Why don't I get another round of drinks in here, Mum? Do you have to show me up? Oh, I think you're doing it all by yourself. That one needs handling with tongs and putting out in the rubbish. Just leave it here. I've come home to relax. Yeah, not go back with a clap. So you can leave your lunch or what? Make it to you. Fine, whatever. St. Michelle finishes at two. Are you alright to take over? Mm. You okay? She's right, I just upped and left. I never gave her a thought, you know. Never even wondered how she was coping. Ah. Uh, well. From what Steve told me, you had to get out of there to protect yourself. Yeah, well, I could have taken them with me. You were only a kid. Look, she's made her own choices. All you can do now is try and steer her to make the right ones in the future. I suppose. But it's up to her whether she takes them or not. Oh, it's dead hard, isn't it? All this, like, family and stuff. I think that'd have had a lot of practice. It doesn't matter how much practice you've had. It's always hard. The thing is, right, I just don't know where I stand with her. Sometimes she seems to like me, and the other times it's like she just hates me. Uh, but they're sisters for you. And brothers. Steve and Andy spent half the time fighting. You'd think they loathed each other. Then the next day, They'd be kicking a ball around, laughing and joking, as if no had happened. Oh, really? So, stop beating yourself up about it. It's just normal family life. All right, guys. Good night. All right. Good. Right. I've decided what we need to do to get Max back. What? We need to prove that you can provide for him, so we've got to get you a home and a job. Oh, yeah. Why didn't I think of that? So where's your wand, then? Ta-da. One home. You mean? Yeah, you're going to live here with us, permanent. <gasps> oh, that's brilliant! <laughs> <laughs> and, um, yeah, we'll just sort out a job later. Oh, you won't regret this, sis. Honest. <laughs> <laughs> She's honest as a day's long, and she would not arm a fly. If you want to start blaming someone, you should look at yourselves. We've never laid a finger on our kids. Anyone I never said so you can... did, but you were happy enough to find my jar, mind her. Yeah. Yeah, but you couldn't understand that. Because you don't have a kid of your own, do you? Oh, well done. Let's just alienate the whole neighbourhood. I mean, what? OK, right. We need to get you a job. Not as easy as you think. 
I don't think it's easy. But at least you want to be able to tell the court that you tried. I could always tell them that. It doesn't have to be true. It doesn't matter whether it's true or not, they never believe you. I'd ask Liz to take you on here, but... <laughs> she wouldn't even want me stopping. She's never in a million years going to want me working. I know. Which is why I'm trying to think of who else might want... Well, not want you, yeah, no one's going to do that, but... Who else might pour up with you? Just to court, she would say she's got a job. Or have you already got all the stuff you need? Well, then. Do you know what? I shouldn't even be asking you, it's not fair. No, I'm sorry, Roger. Just forget that I said, oh. I was going to say that you, you've chosen a good time because I was thinking we could do with an extra pair of hands. I don't believe you. Well, I, I'm sorry to hear that. I, I had hoped I was generally regarded as an honest man. Generally, yeah, yeah. Go on, then. Thank you, boy. Hey, listen. You do know that you are like the bestest man ever, right? I, I, I wouldn't go that far. Hey, 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 hey. And how was your honeymoon? Oh, oh very nice. I, I don't think Northumberland. Is. Okay. Roy says, yeah, he might be able to take you on. Do you have any experience in the catering industry? Done a lot of eating. Well, th there are two things here that are all important. Uh, one is hygiene, two is politeness. And three, how much does it pay? Six fifty an hour. Oh, that's pathetic. I'm not doing it for that. No, but you do it for Max and you'll think about him. It is the going rate. Now, now, do you want the job or not? Yes, she does. Do have much choice, but it's a bit. Uh, when might you be able to start? Now. So, Paul. <laughs> two salads. Have you got any mayonnaise? Salad, cream. <laughs> Am I making sense to you? More than usual. Have we got any mayonnaise? Yes, sir. Uh, when you give it to them, perhaps if you could manage a smile. Ask them uh, if everything's all right, whether they're like anything else possible. You going to want anything else? Uh, no, don't think we did. Not me. If we're positives, I'd say that she's not intimidated when dealing with the general public. She's got a gob on her, yeah. Although, uh, of course, there was someone we had working here about whom we might have said the same. Hey, look, look, I'm, I'm finished with the meat. I think you are. I didn't I'm told by now, anyway. Oh. I said, I haven't finished with that. You've been sat there half an hour? Oh, so there's a time limit on how long a customer can remain now, is there? There is, yeah. So go on then, what you've been saying about me. I was saying how impressed I've been. Honest. He was, yeah. And I hope you'll be with us for some time to come. Roy, I owe you a big, big favour, man. No, no. And so does she, but she never admit it, so. You have to do that. What? And cheer up a bit. You don't want little Max to see a sad face. Why not? Might be the last time they let me see him. Oh, no. No, because things are different now. We've got you a home, and we've got you a job. And we are going to fight to get that little boy back. Hey, and she can fight. I've seen the deal with drunken punters twice her size. Mm -hmm. Social services, courts and lawyers. You're going to fight that? Do you want your baby boy? Yeah. Then I'll fight anyone. So eat your toast, get in the shower and get dressed. And then we're going to go and see that little lad and tell him that he's coming up. Hi, Max. How are you, my lovely boy? <laughs> Hello, I'm Becky. Uh, this is Helen Kay. She's, uh... well, maybe you should explain. I've been appointed by the court to be Max's children's guardian. Your social services? No. I'm independent from the court and social services. So whose side are you on? Max is. No one else. I will prepare a report and speak for Max at the interim care order hearing. I know Helen. She's good. She's fair. And the courts listen to what she's got to say. So if you think Kyla should have Max back, then that's what's going to happen? That's right. OK. Did you see the way he ran to his mum when we first walked in? I saw. Good. I don't need... 
sure she loves the bones of that little boy. I'm sure she does. And wow, is she turning her life round. I mean, who hasn't made mistakes on your past day? I know I have. Bet you have. So your social workers are perfect, like. I'm not a social worker. Yes, I know, I'm sorry. And I'm not perfect either. Do you know what? When I was her age, I was way worse. But if I'd have had a kiddie, it would have changed everything. And I'm not saying it would have been easy, but... Being a mum, it's... It's special, that, isn't it? Yeah. I think we better wrap things up now. Put the toys away. We've only been here ten minutes. You've been here an hour. She's right, time flies. Come on, let's go. We've got a really important day in court tomorrow. Hey, Max, do you want to say bye to your Annie Becky? Yeah? Oh, God! <laughs> I can't wait to take you home with us. Probably show you where we live. And we are going to have so much fun, I'm telling you. Yeah, just one more day, right? Okay. The form here. Yeah, let me see. It's the September order, yeah? Yeah, yeah, it was two dozen. So is that all you wanted to know? Right. You okay? Yeah, just browsing. Any news? And they've got a whole set of rules for the visit. And you know, we're allowed to take uh, clothes and toys, uh, but we can only see the kids for an hour and we have to have a, a social worker with us at all times. Help. Uh, how much are these? I think they're about 159. Biscuits? Daylight robbery? Listen, I don't care what hoops the makers jump through. I just want my babies back. Only how do we prove we never hurt our kids? We don't. We just let the police and social workers prove it. We do anything they want, we answer any questions they ask, and eventually they'll see the truth, and we will get our kids back. Hey, soldier boy. All right? Just, uh, lifted a bottle of body from the shop. What, do you want a medal? Looking for a mate to drink it with. Oh, yeah? Do you fancy it? I might. No, I don't know. Oh, you sound scared. Scared? What am I scared of? Me? Yeah? Well, maybe. I'll be gentle with you. You're a nutcase. Meet me later. Where? See you with Max, though. She's like a different person. I could tell that Ellen Kay was well impressed. Well, let's hope she's a different person in that court hearing tomorrow, because if she's the stroppy madam that I've seen, they're not going to let her anywhere near that kitty. Let's give her a break, Ailey. She's doing her best, bless her. But her best wasn't good enough. That's why they took him away. Ah, oh, there you are. My ears were burning. Mm, that's because we were talking about you. Do you want something to eat? No, I'm not hungry. Are you nervous about tomorrow? Yeah. You've got to eat. Go on, then. Um, I'm going to have an early night and read for a bit. See ya. She loves that boy. Why are we meeting here? Because I had to sneak out. Sneak out? How old are you? I have an overprotective big sister. As a chip. You know, I've got no idea what I'm doing here with you. Come on, let's get smashed. Where can we go? About your place. No chance. About yours. There's the shed. I do look like the kind of girl who does it in a shed. No, of course not. I want bricks and mortar, or well, you're not getting any. I'll check if Mum and Dad are in there. I'll wait. Fancy coming for a ride? How'd you get in? Said I could borrow it. Climb in. <sighs> you 
you're a nutcase. <laughs> Fasten your seatbelt. It's going to be a bumpy ride. I don't know why you made us sit with her. She was lonely. She, she was practically suicidal by the time we escaped. Isn't that your motor? My home! My, my home has been stolen! Stop! Thief! Shut up. <laughs> Nothing I ain't seen before, mister. What are you doing? Uh, we've stolen a... a, a what's it, and I'm in the army. You weren't that bothered last night, soldier boy. Yeah, well, I wasn't thinking with my head last night, was I? Come on, drive us home. Well, stay in bed. No, it's not a bed, it's just a piece of plywood with a lumpy old cushion on it. Yeah, but it's better than anything you'll get in the <sighs> desert. As is this. Oh, don't do this to me, you're messing with my head, man. It's not your head I'm interested in, darling. Where's the fire? Kylie, a bed I've been slept in. Do you want a coffee? I can't believe she ain't here. She said she was having an early night. I do love caffeine first thing on the morning. That and a ciggy. Helps clear your tubes out. I don't think you get what I'm saying here, Liz. Today is Kylie's big day. The court case. I oh, know, I do live here. I cannot afford for her to screw this up. We have to be there at one, so where is she, Liz? I'll tell you what, I'll bob out with crystal ball. She told me she was trying to turn her life round, so why, why, why would she do this? Maybe she's just gone out for fags or something. Yeah, right. I will kill her. We should have torched it. You're unreal, Mum. Ah, but I love nicking. My Auntie Shell a professional shoplifter. She used to take me and our Becky on these really mad shopping trips. She could roll a whole fur coat up and shove it down her knickers. Now that is talent. Don't the security tags go off when you leave the shop? Not if you know how to do it properly. Might show you one day. Mm. Oh, Gary. What? I don't want this night to end. Yeah, well, it has. It's daylight. Can we go back to yours and get bladdered? No, no, no. Look, I've got to get a shower, get some stuff done, yeah? What happened to you last night? All right, Izzy. Babes, I'm what happened to him last night. Know what I'm saying? Tart. Hey, you cheeky. Who are you calling a tart? Him. Oh. I won't stand for that. Look, I'll see you around. All right? All right. Come on, big fellow. Norris. Ah, not your fault. I had an attack of the vapours when I woke, convinced I'd wet the bed. <laughs> How relieved was I when I realised my hot water bottle burst. It's uh, rather an odd time of year, for a hot water bottle. I'll never forget your kindness last night, Norris. Homelessness is no bed of roses. I know, it's a wet Z bed in Mrs Bishop's parlour. <laughs> if it hasn't dried out before tonight, maybe I might be best off hopping in with you. Norris, I can assure you, when I sleep top to tail with a close friend, I am not a wriggler. <laughs> Gerald said it was like sleeping with a corpse. Uh, uh, Gerald? A former fellow philatelist I was quite pally with in the early part of this century. I do not share my bed with friends. I do not share my bed with anyone. So I don't need references. Perhaps you can bob in with Graham. Can we please change the subject? I I don't want to think about Gerald or Graham today. I've, I've got other fish to fry. A fish called homelessness. Oh, Mary, you must stay positive. It's hard, though, Norris. I've got the feeling you're going to throw me out onto the streets, and then where will I sleep? Under a viaduct with a gazette as an eye down. And I can't see the feeling the boys in blue aren't going to find my motor home any time soon. And... Maybe they won't have to. I thought the sight of a motorhome could give such pleasure. That's serious it. trouble, though, cos why is she answering a phone? Well, Adam, she went out last night and got kill-eyed and stayed with a mate. No, no, she hadn't got any right to be doing that. Hey, now calm down. No, I'm fuming, Liz. Right, but why? The court case. 
Is it what Kylie wants or what you want? She has got to get to court. This is her last flaming chance. And what good is stomping up and down on the cobbles going to do? Because I might see her. If she's messed up her chances of keeping Max, just because she couldn't face a quiet night in, I will have her. Where is she, Liz? Look what I've got. Hey. <laughs> Party time. Uh. I think that's wise. Just trying to make sure you enjoy your last days of freedom. I thought you had to get back to the pub or something. Gary, anyone want to think you're trying to get rid of me? Now get that down your neck. It's a nice breakfast. Mmm. Where'd you get to last night? Uh, just out. Hiya, babes. You look like you've been dragged through a hedge backwards. <laughs> I was. Can I have a shower, Anna? Do you have a shower? We've got an attachment. Oh, thanks, babe. Hi, Anna. I think there's someone at the door. Oh, who are you, President Amenza? Hi, Anna. Oh, how are you, Quinny? Gary, it's Quinny. It's been a dirty stop out with that Kylie piece. Oh, back in the vent, then. No secrets round here while Mum's around, eh? How are you, man? Yeah, I'm, right. yeah, I'm like News 24, I'm always switched on. Well, I can see why you go for a bird like that over her in the wheelie. You are so bad, man. Oh, it's lovely seeing you two together again. You're gonna look after each other, you know. All right, Mum, you don't have to remind us. I'll keep my eye on him, make sure he behaves himself. Oh, do you know what? What? Can I take your picture? On my phone? No, oh, what you like? <laughs> oh, come on, don't be like that. Come on, smile for me. Mm. Oh, come on, make it a nice one. I want you to smile. Come on. Ah, hey. oh, look. If for that, innit? Make the most of it, mate. Don't suppose there'll be a free bar in Afghanistan? Mum looked dead upset, didn't she? Can't blame her. You should see the state of my mum. Yeah, I know. She's struggling with me, brother. Bet she is. Quinny. What? Will you do me a favour? What? If anything happens to me. Oh, don't, Gary. If I die. Gary. Will you tell them? Mum and Dad. Tell them what happened, yeah, face to face. Of course. But on one condition. What's that? You do the same for me. Deal. Deal. Hey, girl. She's off her head, that one. Yeah, she's a floater, you know. One of the ones you can't get rid of. Rack us up in another beer, babes. <sighs> what am I doing? I'll drink this and I'll get off. Leave you two to some sexy time. Save me from it. Save me from it. Hey, girls. Hey, boys. Superstar DJs. Here we go. No news then. Clock's ticking and she ain't here. Look, I know she's your sister and everything, but she is one piece of work. Oh, tell me about it. I'm a sister, not a mother. How dare she make me feel like this? That's a problem, you see. We didn't have a mum. Well, no, there was a woman what gave birth to us, obviously, but she was never like there. And even if she was, her mind wasn't. Oh, Stevie. All I've ever wanted was a family, a proper family. You've got a family love, you've got us. Uh, our poor little Max is going to be slammed into care now and he could have been here with us. Look, Becky, why don't you go and get changed? Because she still might turn up. And if she does, we'll have to get to that court as soon as possible. Come on, still a chance. I'm thick, right? I'm as thick as this bar. But if there's one thing I've got a degree in, it's a... Uh... And she ain't coming. I'll keep calling her then. Take away, can you, mate? So, you know, time is of the essence, so give us a call ASAP. Thank you, Kylie. Do you think she knows what ASAP means? <sighs> She's not an idiot. Is she not? I think she does have a brain, all right, map the size of a pea, but people who live in glass houses. She's taking you for idiots. She's taking me for an idiot. I give her a roof over her head. 
Oh, she does this cause heartache. Oh, she's only a kid, Mum. Yeah, well, I was a kid once. I didn't behave like that. Well, you had a better start in life than Kylie. Oh, I wasn't exactly born with a silver spoon in my mouth, was I? We didn't have a pot to spit in. And me downs and leftovers was all we had. He had love. One thing I did have was pride. And where's hers? And where's yours? While she's running rings round you. I know, I know. Look, she only stayed out for one night. I don't like seeing you like this. Well, I'm all right. It's Becky that's upset. Oh, it's all this grief. None of us can relax in our own home. Well, just give her a break. Especially in front of Becky. It's you I worry about. Well, don't. I suppose I did have love. And knits. Knits are only attracted to clean hair, Steve, which is why you never have them. I suppose there are some people who don't appreciate having a proper family in that. Me? Me. Right, I have just got off the phone with the courts oh, and I've managed to get the hearing put back a bit. Oh, Stevie, you are a pig in star, what are you? Ah, uh, yeah, I take it you've not heard from me yet. No, but that don't matter now. Because, you see, Max belongs with his family, right? And uh, don't be too hard on her. Anything could have happened, and not with a bunch of strangers. Yeah, so you keep saying. Foster parents are not monsters, you know. No, I never said that they were, but they ain't his flesh and blood. He needs me, right? Just as much as I need to bring him home here, because this is where Max belongs. And his mum might have let him down, but his auntie Becky ain't gonna. I just hope that Kylie's OK. It's not really up to you, though, is it? I mean... Not a lot you can do now. Oh, darling, you're breaking my heart. So what do you expect me to do all day then, Stevie? You just want me to sit round here twiddling my thumbs? I can't. I haven't got a choice. I've got to go to that court and I have to get Max back. Yeah, well, they're not going to give him you, are they? Yes, they will. Becky? They will if I say that I'm Kylie. What, you're going to pass yourself off as Kylie? Yeah. You're mad. Well, maybe I am, but I ain't got hope to lose, have I? Oh. How do I look then? Nothing like it. He's right, Becky. You might as well put a false beard and specs you on. You can't go through with this. I won't let you. Try and stop him, man. Look, impersonating your sister at a family court, you're going to get rumbled in seconds. Not necessarily. Besides, there might be someone down there who recognises you. You're looking idiot. I'm off to court, so are you taking me or what? Pack. One more, go on. You'll get me shot. Do something, Steve. Yeah, look, look, okay. Say you do get away with it, then what? We just get Max home, right? Because by then Kylie will be back. Say she doesn't show up. Well, she's got to show up sooner or later. Look, she knows what today is. If she's not here, it's because she don't want to be here. She wants to be a good mum deep down. She just needs a bit of help. How's she going to look after him, day in, day out, if she can't even get herself to come? Two halves of bitter, please. Uh, I'll go. So have you got a better idea then, Steve? Apart from your do no, let her lose her son for good. Becky, listen, I think it's great that you're standing by her, OK? But this is going too far. I know. I know, I just... I'm going to throw all the get my hands on her. Where is she, Steve? She with Gary Wendas a couple of hours ago. Gary? Very cosy they were. Criminal court. Little boy is in care. Sorry, um, little boy. And today the court decide whether or not he should stay there. That's too much info, Bex. Uh, not enough info, Kylie. I'm not planning on having any more if that's what you're worried about. 
God, they can't see you now. Just on me way. Shut up. You're already late. You've got more important things on your mind. You're making me feel guilty for having a bit of fun. I thought you were lying at the bottom of a ditch. Oh, man, you are one selfish cow. She had my top on. Look, it slipped my mind, I admit. How can a court case slip your mind? You obviously haven't been to as many as I have. Uh. Come on, I'm always being dragged off to case conferences and meetings. Oh, so buy a flaming file of facts then. Anyway, this isn't just any old meeting. This is the biggie. This is the one that we've been waiting for. Yeah, but Soldier Boy is fit as. <laughs> Do you not want your son back? No, I don't. There, I've said it. I can't believe you just... Well, thank God Max can't hear you disown him. Love him. Of course I do. I love him to bits. <sighs> yeah. I'm a useless mother, Bex. Useless, selfish... And he'd be better off without me. All this. Because it's true. Because you're scared. I know when the court hearing is. I deliberately made myself scarce. Getting drunk, copping off, it's what I do. But you said that you wanted him back. I couldn't admit my failure as a mother. Well, you're not. You're not. You've just had a bit of bad luck, that's all. And your people have a rough time. Doesn't mean their kids end up in care. Well, people can change then. Look at me. There ain't no fairy godmother gonna save me. Well, what am I then? People have helped me. Now, I'm gonna help you. Listen. Listen, I need you to look me in the eye now and I need you to tell me straight. Do you want Max? Yes or no? Of course I do. Good. You sure? Yeah. Right. And you love him. You just said that you love him. More than anything in the world. Well, good. Good, because all the rest we can work on. You know, I used to trash places every time I didn't get me own way. And I used to take drugs when I felt depressed. You know, we're all works in progress, love. And you shouldn't just accept your lot. Not when you've got your family around as well, you? Bex. I'm really glad you came and found me. Well, let's just save all that sopping stuff, because we've got to be in court in 20 minutes. May it please, Your Honour, this is Weatherfield County Council's application for a care order in relation to Max Turner, born September the 5th, 2006 who currently resides with foster carers under an interim care order dated May the 12th, 2009. The mother, Kylie Turner, opposes the care order, but is not present at today's proceedings. Do you know where your client is? I'm afraid not, Your Honour. The local authority submits that Miss Turner has had ample notice of today's proceedings and respectfully requests that the case proceed in her absence. Very well, proceed. In the bundle before you, Your Honour, you will find a statement from the social... <laughs> Sorry, we're late. <laughs> and his mother have a strong bond. Kylie also now has a stable job and home, thanks to the intervention of her sister, Mrs. Rebecca MacDonald. Oh, that's me. Would you like to address the court, Mrs. MacDonald? Um, yeah, all right then. Just to say that uh, if you do let Max come and live with us, then he won't want for anything, especially love. Can I say something? By all means, yes. Only. I know I've made a few mistakes in the past. Wouldn't be here if I hadn't. But I feel like I've turned a corner. Thanks to this one. But she's a top sis. We lost touch, you see, and she came looking for me. It changed my life. And I don't just mean because she put a roof over my head. She's made me realise that I've got to change. And I will. I'll make her proud. I'll make you all proud. Got him. Oh! In the court said, take him home! Take him home! Take him home! Oh, He's going to live with us from now on, ain't you? <laughs> Where's Stevie? The short drivers, he had to go to work. Oh. Hello. All right, well, let's not keep him down here. Let's get him upstairs and settled. Hold on. What we just did? We took on social services and work. I know! We have got to celebrate. Come on, yeah. let's have a party. Okay, well, maybe once Max is in bed. I'm gonna celebrate now. Come on, Gabby's over there. One drink. 
But this is meant to be a fresh start now. You take him up. I'll have one drink, then I'll follow you. Come on, what you take me for? One drink? No. It's not very nice. We won, we won, we won! You've been to a footy match? Damn the court. Got me some back. Crack up on the fizzy stuff. Who's buying, like? You. Yeah. Oh, come here. How come you never said that about having a sprog? You're in care. Too painful to talk about. Right, I'll buy. Don't look now, but I think we've been spied on. Who by? Scary Mary owns the camper van. Drink your nose? No. Nah. No. Nah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right. Now we can't have hot dogs in front of the telly every night, but today is a special occasion, isn't it? Because this is your first night in your new home with your mummy and me and Stevie and Auntie Liz and your cousin Amy. Hey baby. I know it's brilliant, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, he's here now. We're just uh, grabbing a bit of boy telly before our Amy gets back. Yeah, hey listen. Kylie were really good in court, you know. Yeah, she spoke up for herself really well. What way is she now? Um, well, three guesses. Oh, you're not leaving. Um, yeah. Just getting to know each other. You know, I can't really date a soldier. Is it because I'm away all the time doing a highly dangerous job? No, I just, I just don't fancy it. <laughs> Have you been here all this time? Well, if the police won't take my crime seriously, I'll do the job myself. You sound like a vigilante. I've been monitoring those two very carefully. Huh? Bonnie and Clyde over there. I think she's the missing link. Gary's accomplice. Oh! I hope you're not going to let that go to waste. No, I hate fizzy wine. Give me a pint of bitter any day. Shall we, uh, go back to yours? What's going on? We're celebrating. And you heard the good news? Shouldn't you be looking after Max? He's bonding with his auntie Becky. Well, he's just got out of foster care. He needs his mum. Yeah, yeah. Why does everyone begrudge me of having a good time? No, Steve's right. I mean, when are you getting off soon anyway? I'll see you later, though, yeah? Yeah. Well, I heard you put on quite a convincing performance today. Performance? Yeah, convincing everybody that you've mended your ways. That you wanted to be a good mother to Max. But it's true. Well, look. You may have fooled the judge, even Becky, but you've not fooled me. Well, thanks for your vote of confidence. Becky's put a lot of faith in you, and I don't want you letting her down. You'll have me to answer to. Well said. <clears throat> you got a problem? Me? You keep looking over. Where were you last night? I can't remember. Why was it to you? Bit of hijinks on the high road, was it, with your girlfriend? That vehicle is my home. What are you talking about? What are you doing, you weirdo? If this hair matches the one I found in my bed. I've told you. I don't know what you're talking about. Are you really going to show that to the police? And be derided for wasting police time. <laughs> no chance. The thing is, I know. And he knows. I know. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. It's about you having no manners. Nah. This is about you sticking your nose where you shouldn't. The soldiers, you know. <laughs> no way. The army can't be that desperate. Thanks again. You were brilliant. I really enjoyed it. Where have you been? As if I can't guess. Skibble. They rang. It's my fault. No, it's not. I chose to go with him. Inside now and you clear off. Yeah. I'll see you tomorrow. Come on, Squaddy. What are you waiting for? Hey, come on. Come on, big man. Let's do it. Yeah, come on. Hey, guys. Daddy, you're not me. No, you're not me. Come on. Get out of here. Oh, my God. You've knocked him unconscious, you idiot! You two, Scarpa, I'll call an ambulance. 
Go before anybody sees you! Say thank you, Max. Thank you. You're very welcome. Shouldn't it be at work? Eh? Right. Shouldn't it be there? Oh, that was just for the courts. You know, somewhere to live, steady job. That looks lovely. Hey, Becky put herself out to get you that job. And if Roy's expecting you, it's not fair on him not to turn up. And what about Max? Me and Becky are here. You will be perfectly fine. Well, I thought this was supposed to be about me and him being a family again. And I thought it were about you proving you're responsible enough to keep him. See you later, Grandma. All right, some more. Just sort of let you know, that lad last night... What about him? Well, I called an ambulance for him. They took him to hospital. What state was he? Well, he was able to get into the ambulance himself. Well, it can't have been that bad then, can it? Look, he did ask for it, you know. Did the teachers to fight like that in the army? No, the state where I grew up. We're than Afghanistan, that mate. <laughs> she did it. Kylie. <laughs> and then what? Kylie. Excuse me. Any tiny possible chance of a bit more milk in my coffee, please? <laughs> Kylie, the customer. Oh yeah, later. Ooh, that for me. And could you attend to Graham, please? On the phone. Okay, okay. Thank you. Yeah? Yeah, um, I asked for a uh, milky coffee. And? Uh, are there different definitions of the word milky? In nobody's book is that milky. No. Uh, sorry. No problem, all right, though. Uh, am I being paid in instalments? No, that, that, that's emergency tax. You're on under uh, national insurance. Well, it's hardly worth the flipping bother. Graham's milk. Shock here. Oh, I, I nearly forgot you. It's a share of tips. Ah, now you're talking. Yeah. Is this like newbie wind-up? I think that's it, and then you produce the real money. No. Funny things, tips. As a butcher, not a sausage, excuse the pun. But as a window cleaner, now that's... Oh, tell someone who cares, eh? I'm surprised you get any tips, especially with that gob of yours. Yeah, and I'm surprised you get served, especially with that face on you. Roy, take her away now while she still has a chance to keep both her legs and some of her teeth. K Kylie, Kylie, this is... Well, tighter than a duck's what's it, this lot? I'm sick of being treated like muck. They know you've only taken me on because I'm Becky's scummy sister. Well, I think you're imagining that, but true or not, try and rise above it. Hayley has a, a little phrase. She says, uh, if you see someone without a smile, give them one of yours. Got a saying of my own, Roy. They don't like you. Stuff them. Morning. Morning. Are you the landlady? Liz McDonald, yeah. We're making inquiries into an assault outside here last night. Oh, uh, I heard about it, but I didn't see it. Do you know who might have been involved? A lad ended up in hospital. Well, it might be worth you talking to Gary Windus. Middle house across the street. And what makes you say that? Oh, I'm sure it's nothing. But? He had a row with another lad. I actually thought it were going to kick off in the bar. That's why I threw the other lad out. Did anybody else see anything or say anything to you? I uh, don't know if anybody saw it, but nobody said much to me. Sorry. No, that's fine. You've been a big help. Thanks. Hi. What's all that about? Uh, Bit of a fight out here last night. All that stress. You'd be ready for that night off? Ready for one, yeah. Getting one, no. Well, let me know then if you do fancy letting your hair down. Well, why don't you call in for a drink later? Oh, uh, I'm working actually. A builder working at night. Admin. Eat it. Well, you got me number if uh, you do get an hour or two off. I have, yeah. yeah. Well, what's he supposed to have done? Gary Windass. What? Gather you in a bus about outside the pub last night. News to me, mate. You were watching telly with Quinny. And what time would that be? All night. So anyone who says you're in the pub got it wrong, did Look, they? Look, we had a quiet drink here, no trouble. Let's go and talk fast down the station, eh? Uh, you have a choice? No? Alright. You do know he's going off to fight for his country, don't you? Bet you didn't wait till he got there. What's going on? No biggie. Why are they taking him in? He reckoned he was in a fight last night. And was he? It'll be a mistake. Hey, Kurt. Yeah. Mistake. 
Kit Royston. Anything on the business? Oh, yeah. oh yes. I could see you something like this, actually. I think I might need a somewhat larger size. Jeans to match. I don't actually wear jeans, but uh, excuse me. How much have you bought? All we need is stuff, and you know what it's like once you get started. I didn't ask you to do any of this, you know. Well, it's not for you, it's for Max. Give the receipts. It all fits, because we tried it on in shop, didn't we, little man? That's what we you, Kai. I've never been able to buy him stuff like this. He's going to think you're the next best thing since Father Christmas. And me, well, I'm just the person who shouts at him for being naughty. So, you met you in the pub last night? Wasn't it, yeah? You Quinny, my mate. Anyone else? Dunno, not especially. Just had a quiet drink. You got to an argument, though, didn't you? What, me? No, I'm a peaceful sort. Mind my own, all that. Thomas Hughes. He ended up in hospital. Concussion. Serious assault, Gary. Concussion, yeah? He's given a false statement. He knew Matt's a description. Well, he must be confused. I mean, you hear about it all the time, don't you? You know, footballers being concussed, not knowing they've had half time, scoring a goal in the wrong end. Your height. Wiry. Ginger hair. Oh, so you brought me in for being ginger now? Come on, boys, surely that's discrimination. I'm off for putting you in the lineup. Fancy your chances. Reckon you won't be able to pick out the bloke who put him in hospital. Getting up your nose, was he? Says you argued about a woman in a wheelchair. Is that her that we passed when we brought you in? There was no row. All right? Just a quiet drink. Maybe we should ask her. That woman today. What's her name? This has got nothing to do with her. Defending her honour with you, soldier boy. Might be worth thinking about that for your defence. I'd go down well in court. Certainly beats battering him unconscious just because you could. Look, I'm telling you. I know nothing about a row. I know nothing about a fight. I've got the house of your regiment, no? Hey? They'll kick you out. They want you to take on the Taliban, not beat up Brits just because they've been rude to your girlfriend. Worth it, was it? I finally got him off for a nap. He's gone to sleep cuddling that dog thing you bought him. Right. He needed a sleep. It's been difficult coping with all the change. Kids adapt. Yeah. I suppose he's used to it. I've tried all them clothes on him. They look great. <sighs> Making a right mess of this, aren't I? <sighs> Come on, Becky. Me and Stevie. Even Liz. We're all making an effort. You're making me feel like a flipping charity case. It's doing me head in. We're trying to help you. I can't do it all. Sorry. So you keep saying. Oh, no, it's the car. I... I was so sure I wouldn't get to keep Max, I thought, why make the effort? Mm, what happens when you do? And that were down to you, not me. No, it was you as much as me. Oh, stop putting yourself down. Oh. Not used to it, am I? What? Well, things going right. Good stuff. Where are you going? Police station. Find out what's happening if he needs a solicitor. Just think that, that'll tell you. And if he needs a solicitor, Gary will get one. He's not daft. Oh, I'm sure they're charging him. Hey. How do you reckon that? Well, if they didn't have out, he'd be home by now. They can't have out. The only witnesses were me and Kirk. So something did happen? Gary didn't start it. Oh, well, why didn't you stop him? It all happened too quick. Oh, thank God! What happened? They asked me some questions, I answered them. Well, some of them anyway. What, and that's that? No, nah, they won't be back tomorrow. I've never got me. And when they prove you did it, this bloke? Hey. Well, Quinny's told me what happened. Oh, cheers, bud. Look, he asked for it, he got it, end of. And you're not that upset, not really, because if I get done for this, the army, it's over, innit? You'd like that. You really think I want it like this? You back in jail, now to look forward to, because they won't have you back. No chance of a decent job making a life for yourself. Oh, yeah, it's what I've always dreamed of for my only son. It was a lad who was arguing with in here? Yeah. I think so. So it was about me? I don't know. You'll have to ask Gary. How stupid is that? Does he think I get bothered by idiots like that? Six months in a wheelchair, you've heard it all. After that, water for duck's back. So what'll happen to him? I don't know. But he has got a record, so they'll come down hard. Well, if they can prove it. They might come looking for witnesses. I suppose they will, yeah. Well, we didn't see out, didn't hear any arguing, OK? But what he did was stupid. What he did was wrong. We ain't gonna help him send him to jail. No, me neither. Do you need hand? Take over if you like. Kylie! Oh, um, can you do a bedtime story? Oh, Max loves it when you read it to him. No, when I said I'm having a break, I meant it. Why don't you do it? Mm. Can I just put a DVD on? We always read Amy a bedtime story. It's better than sticking a myth into telly. Oh, look at this. I thought you were having a break. I am. 
In the air, finishing up, she might come in. Could be a bit awkward, though. Mm. Uh, unless we go through to the back. Can I have a drink there? Sounds like a plan. Right. Right. Can I be getting you another, then? Oh, no, Tal. There's only so much fizzy water you can drink. Oh, you can't bear. Do me. Fred? I had a Fred bear when I was little. <laughs> OK, well, carry on the family tradition. Fancy an early night? Everything. That's why she kicks off, you see. She knows where she stands if everything's going down the pan. And you're going to find this really hard to believe, but I too have been known to self-destruct on occasion. You never. Which is why I understand her. And the really important thing here is that she knows that we're there for a baby. Well, we are. Oh, thank you. Mm. Do you want me to show you how grateful I am? Shouldn't we um, finish up in here first? Your mum said she'd do that. So why the hell are we still here? <laughs> <laughs> still can't believe I let him get to me. It wasn't worth it. They were all blow over, mate. If the cops had enough, you'd be in a cell by now. But if they do this identity parade tomorrow? Still. Your word against this. And if they start asking round, is he Kirk? Well, why would they? Izzy saw nothing and Kirk's pretty sound. Nah, no, they were, you know. Build up a picture. Me and this lad arguing at the pub, which everyone saw. We take it outside. Guilty. You'll be fine. But what if I'm not, though? It's not just the army that'll be over, is it? Mum's right, I'll be back inside behind bars. No future, no now. Won't come to that, can I? I wish I was so sure, mate. Really, I do. Better than doing the accounts with Eileen. Well, better than doing anything with Eileen. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll let you out. around from your mobile, honest. Oh, yeah. Here you are, then. Sit down. Can't have you going to work on an empty stomach, can I? Mmm. <laughs> <sighs> Just the exact right amount of brown sauce. I'm not sure I'd trust a bloke who didn't like a bacon sandwich on the morning. Well, I'm glad I never asked for Cocoa Pops, now. Come on, Kylie, miserable cow. Right there. Oh. Useless. <laughs> Morning! Hi. Can I borrow some bread, love? We've run out upstairs. Eggy bread! Eggy bread? That's a weekend treat, is that? Eggy bread! Eggy bread! Are you two ganging up on me now? <laughs> I'll do it down here. Come on, you two, you can help. Go on. Go with your mum. Here, stick kettle on, love, while you're there. What's your last slave, do you have? Severe beating, so I think on. Aw, oh, she's right good with them. Pick it, do you mind? No, of course not. It's like picking up a station here most mornings. Now then, into your eyelids. <laughs> I'd, uh, I'd left me mobile, I just came round to pick it up. No, to do with me, you're both consenting adults and all that. Where's your eggs? Where do you think eggs are? In washing machine. 
I'm gonna leave you two to it. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry about that. I I'd best get going anyway. Uh, I'll show you out. Do you two want a brew? How rude. I really enjoyed last night. <laughs> Me and all. I have to say so much to Eileen, Dan. Well, me and her had dinner, that's all. Nothing happened. Best mates. Tell each other everything. Which is why she'll understand. You don't know much about women, do you? Well, I don't know. I get by. There is definitely fifty pounds missing. Maybe somebody gave out the wrong change. It's easily done. Well, yeah, but what from a hundred pound note? Now, if it were forty-three eighty-two, that's one thing. But fifty quid, bang on. Hey, you don't reckon somebody has light fingers, do you? I can't ignore it. Hiya. Hiya, love. Just popping into town. Does anyone want anything? No, thanks. Where's Max? I've left him in the bath. Kidding. Bye, Mac. Mac is taking him to the park. Oh, hey, that's reminding me. If you see any two for one bath foam, would you get me some, lovey? Anything with jasmine in. I love a good soap myself. <laughs> oh, don't, Betty. Even imagining that does things to me. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, you daft devil. Bath foam, got it. See you later. <laughs> Draw along. Right, that's it. I'm going to have to call a staff meeting. I hope I'm not included in that. Ah, oh, come on, let's not get carried away. Stephen or Becky might have just borrowed it. Yeah, well, I've tried to phone Steve, but it's with the accountant. But also, they always put a note in the till if they borrow anything. 41 years I've worked in this place. You think you're going to start stealing at my age? Of course not. Look, what would I spend it on? Bath foam? Look, I do very nicely on my pension. Oh, and the wages you pay me. Thank you very much. Nobody is accusing you, Betty. It doesn't sound like that to me. What well, do all my shifts have to start this early? Is it practically the night before? You're complaining, it'll do you good. I'll do my best. I don't think that's really She'll be it. here all you can count on it. I'm going for a fag. Yeah, we're coming now. <laughs> Tell Roy you've been on the swings and everything, haven't you? And that slide. When I was a child and things were difficult at home, I'd, I'd often lie on the roundabout in our local playground, staring at the far reaches of space, contemplating the cruelties of life and the the mysteries of the universe. Explains a lot. You've had me running about all over the place, haven't you, Max? Brilliant! Very sweet child. They are at that age. It's when they grow up the trouble starts. Well, this one is not going to be one jot of worry to us, because you're going to be, when you grow up, a what? A astronaut? Or cowboy? What? A pirate? Oh my goodness, there's not much gold for them round here. Whereas a cowboy and an astronaut, well, they're just in massive demand. What is your problem today, Anna? Sorry. Apologies, sir. Uh, Gary has to be at the police station this afternoon. Uh, Frack off. Oh, are you? Oh, they're close then too, aren't they? Yeah, it's lovely that. Mm. Come on then! <laughs> Come on, let's get home. You must be starving. <laughs> what, Bex? Yeah. I've got you some up when I'm in town. Kylie, you shouldn't have. You don't like it, it don't matter. It will only cheat. No, it ain't that. I just I don't want you to spend your wages on me. Just to say it's half everything you and Steve have done. Gorgeous. What, Max? Come here. Get off! You fucking head! Oh, hi, hello! Hey, have you met my little nephew yet? Tash is having a kitty, you know. Oh. Mad cow. I can see this baby there. It's all you ever talk about. Uh, you can talk. I'm allowed. I'm the dad. Well, pardon me for caring. Thanks, love. Okay. Five twenty-five. Betty, I never meant to imply. And that means four seventy-five in change. Hiya! Hiya, dear. Oh, Liz, you still near me for a couple of hours this afternoon. Oh, uh, no thanks. I'm covered now. Listen, 
You didn't take 50 quid out of the till yesterday, did you? No. I'll take him through to his dinner. Oh. Oh, better. What? The bathroom. Oh, thank you. How much are you, Mark? Oh, forget it. It's on me. Oh, you are a good girl. Oh, how lovely. <laughs> there is 50 pounds missing. She thinks it's one of us. <laughs> Come on, Betty. She didn't say that. Oh, someone's at it. Oh, right. Right, yes, I was wondering how long this would take. All right, blimey, that accountant can bore the enamel off your teeth. Your man reckons Kyle is robbing off us again, isn't that right? I just said there's 50 quid missing from the till. 41 years I've worked here and I've never been accused of stealing money. I'd storm out, you know, without the energy. All right, let's all calm down, mate. Yeah, I won't worry about it, Betty. She's already made up her mind, love. Mm. Any sister of mine, isn't that right? Well, you've got to admit, it's quite a coincidence. Kylie turns up, Steve's bike gets nicked, then there's money gone missing. Look, look, this is getting out of hand. Let's just uh, go through at the back end. <clears throat> I'll tell you something, you are showing them. They're nice. And how are you so sure? It's not her. Because she's my sister, right? And I know how much it means for her to be here, and I am willing to bet my life, in fact, that she would not screw that up for the sake of 50 lousy quid. Babe, my mother has to ask everybody. Not said out to Michelle yet. She'll go ballistic. You know how hard she's tried to change, be a good mum to Max. So now this. Well, maybe she was desperate. For what? Oh, for drugs. Oh, brilliant. This just gets better and better. She is clean, I'm telling you. She has been for ages. Look, you've already told us how hard she's had it. Wrong crowd, living on the street. She can't just turn around and make out she's like the girl next door. Unless she happens to live next door to a methadone clinic. Oi, I was way worse than ever. Oh, yeah. Just wondered if you had a can of tuna going begging. I'm gonna watch Finding Nemo and I thought we could have a theme lunch. Of course we have, love. You go and help yourself. Uh, can I make anyone else a sarnie? Oh, I'm right, Tom. Have you had 50 quid out at Till? Eh? Why would I? I'm working. Eh, exactly. So you've not had it? Of course not. After everything you lot have done for me and Max. Well, we've got to ask everyone. You understand that? Of course, yeah. I mean, you hardly know me, but no, it's not me. You see? You happy now? Well, that's that then. I'm gonna uh, make a phone call. Yep, you do that. And haven't you got a bar to be running? Ignore her. She was just the same to me before I married Steve. Yeah, come on, I'll uh, help you with them sandwiches. Why aren't you in school? Oh, did I not tell you? We found tutors on ways to buy bags for me, age, so I can have the odd day off. Well, the teachers used to say the same thing to me. I don't know why you bother coming in, Sutherland. Dad's already had one call home. Yeah, and I'm going to the bus stop, so stop going on. I shouldn't worry. Ches were the same with school. Never really got on with it. That's what worries me. She sees him doing all right in his stall, and she thinks school's a waste of time. All right, you two. You sort everything out with the old bill? Not exactly. I'm going to work at the cop shop again now. Happen they'll just give you a slap on the wrist, eh, once they realise you're provoked. No, you're joking, are you? I've got form. They expect soldiers to have self-control. Saying he was provoked, I ain't gonna cut it. Even if I swerve time, the army will chuck me out on me. Yeah. You're kidding? You're just a bit of a rock, that's all. I won't mention your name, Kirk, don't worry, mate. Oh, sir. Well, uh, see you later. Yeah, good luck. Good luck? He's about to get chucked out of the army and all you can care about is saving your own skin. It's not that. Sorry, I shouldn't take it out on you. It's just. He was defending me, wasn't he? If I'd have been smart through that bloke, none of this would have happened. And Guy won't be facing having his whole life flushed down the toilet. It's worse for yourself. So, uh, sir. That must be how I look to people. What? That loser? Of course you don't. What's the difference? Well, look at the state of him. And he's levelled. Yeah, and so was I. There's no between us, really, is there? No, a thug's a thug when it comes down to it. And I deserve everything I get. Oh, I'm sorry, I couldn't quite catch that over the sound of the five links. Whatever happens, I've got to make some changes, mate. It's the way things are, I'm not fit to wear the flaming uniform. Yes, lads. Hey, I'll be right here for you, mate. Yeah, I know, Mark.
What the hell are you doing? What are you have to? You've got a Gary Window here about a fight on Coronation Street the other night. And you are who exactly? Kirk Sutherland. And I'm here to tell you, you've got the wrong man, sir. I was just borrowing a few quid for nappies. What, like you borrowed 50 quid from the till? That went out to do with me. Look, you may think that I am some daft, naive, middle-aged soft touch that you can leech off, but you'd be wrong. I was playing these kind of games while you were still in baby grown. Oh, right, our case, were you? No, but I know your type well enough. Look, I'd have given you 50 quid if you'd have asked, you silly cow. You're not going to tell Becky, are you? I think the sooner Becky knows what you're really like, the better. What are you doing? I know your type. You may be married, but you're still a bloke. What if I made it worth your while to keep that big gob of yours shut? What are you doing? It's all right. It flipping is not all right, and this isn't happening. Why? It's what you want. I can tell. You're gagging for it. I am not gagging for it. You so are. Uh, and for your information, I had it yesterday. So back off. Come on. Don't want us falling out over something stupid like money. Besides, you've got it all wrong. Wasn't how it looked. Yeah. Pull the other one. Well, I did offer. Stevie! Kai! In here! Hey, look, here! <laughs> Listen to this, mate. I've just taken our match to shop for some facts. Well, for me, obviously, not for him, mate. And, um, <laughs> Jesney's walking Schmeichel, and he goes to me, Look, Becky, there's Scooby Doo and Shaggy. <laughs> I'm sorry, but how cute is that? Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> oh. Well, I think you have to be there, like. Come on then, love, let's get you that drink, I promised you. I'll come with you. Mm. Hardly seen you all day, have I? Oh, that's nice. Ta <laughs> oh, That's nice. Oh, no, it's about shifts. It's not a problem, is it? <gasps> no, of course not. Listen, what I said before about Kylie. Oh, I'll just forget it. Ooh, so are you all right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's that for? Oh, it's for Max. Listen, I know I'm being a bit overprotective, but that poor little fella don't know where he's coming or going, and I just want to make sure that he's OK. Never heard them things once. Stephen and Andy were small. Mind you, didn't need him. Could hear them to a mile. I better carry on your toes. Andy did. But, do you know what? To be fair, Stephen never a problem. Little angel. Always happy, smiling. What happened? God knows. Here we are. Thanks, Liz. Cheers. I'll get these. Make man a hard one, hand me drink. I'll be here, man. Hey, I could do with a few after the stress you've put us under. Besides, it makes a nice change me getting tipsy while I did out working for once. Hmm. Looks like Sonny's had good news. Yeah, they let us go. Straight up? Yeah, dropped the charges thanks to Kirk. Kirk? What do you mean? Oh, I thought you knew. Yeah, he said it was him that smacked that lad. Took the blame for me. So what are you going to do? I don't know, it's like rock, hard place, Steve. Part of me wants to tell Becky what's been going on, but then I know she'll get really upset, so what do we do? Forget about it. What, and I hope Carly turns over a new leaf? Listen, mate, I mean, she's lied to you, she's stolen from you. She's even off to have sex with you. What kind of person does that? What part of this do you find most disturbing? All I'm saying is, if you don't get it sorted now, it's going to get worse. You've got to show the door, mate. I know, I know, and I'm, I'm going to do it. Good, cos, um. Here's your chance. Kylie. All right. Changed your mind about me offer, have you? Not a minute. Hmm, is that all it takes you? We need to talk. No, you're right. And I'm glad I saw you, cos I just want to say I'm really sorry for what I've done and it won't happen again. I know. Cos you're moving out. What? All you've done since you've got here is cheat and lie to us. I'm not letting you do it anymore, not to me, and especially not to Becky. So what, you're just going to make me and Max homeless instead? No, I'll give you a few days to find somewhere else. I'll even give you the first month's rent, but I want you out. And what if I don't want to go? I'll tell her everything. Becky's the one who asked us here. What am I supposed to do when she wants to know why we're leaving? You'll think of something. You're a good liar. All right. Yeah. Max needed a wash, so I took him to the bog. 
Nice. See, so oh, he's got a better aim than you have. Well, let's try him on six pints of lager. It's not so easy then. Hey, you've not seen Kylie out for front, have you? No way. No, just she went for a kebab. She should have been back by now. I hope she's all right. Well, she can look after herself. I won't worry about her. It really ain't her I'm worried about. You... Now then. What are you off for a kebab? I was. Well, where'd you go for it, Liverpool? Sort of lost track of time. You right? Yeah. I've been thinking. I'm gonna move out. Get a place for me and Max. Well, why? You, you've got your place here. It's not the same, though. But where are you gonna go? I... So I was out with summer. Bed sit or a flat. No, I don't want you to go. I... I'm just starting to feel like we're family again. I appreciate everything you've done for us. I just think it's for the best. Happy now. Said something. Like what? Get out of my house. Well, she can't have because she'd have said something. God, it just doesn't make any sense though, does it, love? What would you rather do? Live above a pub rent free or pay to stay in some like skanky doss house? Well, maybe Kylie just wants to stand on her own two feet. You did it. Yeah, I know, but I don't have a kiddie to look after. And I'm telling you this now. If she leaves it and social services get wind of it, Matt's could be taken off her and living with a bunch of strangers again. You ever thought about signing up, Kurt? What for? Weight Watchers. The army you plank. What do you think you'd make a good soldier? You got the right haircut. I shut up what he did today to the bottle. Not many folk would do that. Maybe you should give it a go. No, you shouldn't. You'd be a rubbish soldier. Well, what's wrong with me? Nothing. I just don't think you'd be much cop at taking orders, that's all. No, you're right. Too much of a rebel, me. It's always been my problem. Well, that ain't like you. But how I'm gonna be able to pay you back? No, you don't have to pay me back. You're my family. Mind you, if you are serious about that, could try by not having to fight with everyone what comes within 100 yards here. You make me sound like a right head case. Not that bad, am I? Nah, I've met way worse. When am I banged up, like? I'm looking for you. Oh, well, well done. How are you? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. It is now Kylie's changed the mind about her and Max going. Oh. Have you? Yeah, it's like Becky said. If the social find out we're not living here, they could take Max off us. And I couldn't bear that happening again. No. Right, well, I best give Liz a hand before she starts looking for me and all. Dead glad you stop him. <sighs> Get off your soft neck. <sighs> what can I say? I tried. Yeah, well, not hard enough. Listen to me. I don't care about the social services. You don't pack your bags, I'm gonna tell Becky everything. Fine. You want me to go, I'll go. But I promise you this. Whatever else happens, if I walk out that door, I'll make sure she never sees me or that little boy again. You wouldn't do that to her. Looks like I'm stopping then, doesn't it? You know, you really are a hard-faced cow, aren't you? Come on, Steve. That's no way to talk to your sister-in-law. Gotta get your auntie grandma Dee Dee's in a minute. Now do you want pink or purple slime? Yellow. It's gonna be either pink or purple. Want my yellow one. It's in the ashtray over there. <gasps> oh, how cute is that? Look, there's a little idea with pierced ears. Oh little. Same as our Maxi. I pierced my own belly button once. I bet I could do ears, no problem. Don't you think it's a little bit chavvy? Oh, well, we won't stick no great big danglers in a row, just a couple of diamond studs. Like you're getting tattooed while you're at it. Don't even joke about it. Sorry, Petal, I can't find it anywhere. <laughs> what? <laughs> Look, uh, Matt. Oh, <laughs> what's he doing there? <laughs> you daft Come on, love. Come on. baby. Why is Stevie top dad in area? Yeah, is that right if you like that sort of thing? Shut you cheek, mate. Oh, love, we've got to give it back. So, you're looking after Maxie today, hey? Yeah, yeah, that's the plan. Oh, well, make sure you enjoy yourself, cos you and me will be moving on soon, won't we? Do you know what gets me right there? The shoes. Right. Was that a boy band or...? Look! <sighs> Look. Shoes. All in a row. Big uns, little uns. That's us, baby. That's who we are. Right. 
Oh, we should get a load of bikes. Have some nice days out, like a proper family. Babe, babe, look, look, look. You have never been on a push bike in your life. I've seen them on Blue Peter, them families. Cosy and normal. Oh. And they always had, like, dead posh stuff in the drawers, like sticky back plastic, glitter, three types of glue. <laughs> I get it. You want us to wear like matching Aaron sweaters and eat apples just for fun. Too right. Oh, sorry. Liz said it was okay to come through. You're all right, are you? Wondering if Steve and Maxie would like to come out to play. We're going for a kick around on the red wreck. Excellent. I shall go and get Max and we'll be right there. Hey, playtime, playtime, playtime. <laughs> oh, baby. Aaron sweaters for goalposts. Here. Here. What do you call this? Cheese on toast, right? What do you call it? A couple of incinerated carpet tiles by the looks of it. Oh, you're so picky. Burnt food is a carcinogenic, I'll have you know. Not like magic mushrooms, you mean? Oh. Well? Unless you want to subject your customers to death by toast, I suggest you try again. Dinner. Yeah, but when you've had your dinner, make sure you get back to school. Yeah, I am doing. I'll walk her there when we're done. You know, make sure she goes in and everything. Right. You know who you are, don't you? Molotov. Stalin's right hand man. Did about him initially. Glad you learned something at that place. Be with you in a minute, mate. Hey, I hope you've had some greens with that. Yeah, half a bag of chocolate lime. Oh, yeah, very funny. Oh, shall I get you another snot rag, love? That one looks knackered. You're all right. I was saying when I were up stick, blighting me had a fall off at shop. How far are you? Sorry, I've got to go. Hey, you've not paid! Oh. I take it Roy's found the country with senses and sacked him. <laughs> Funny. I'm on my break. Uh, well, there's plenty of room over there. Do you want me to get too close? Probably don't trust yourself. No, I just don't want you to lunge at me again like some kind of Rottweiler on heat. I see you've not told Becky about our snog. Keeping your options open. Firstly, it wasn't a snog. You moved in on me. Secondly, no, I'm not keeping my options open. I'm a happily married man. That's what they all say, to start with. You know, you could turn your life around. <laughs> that right, Oprah. I'm just saying there is a place here for you and Max. You are safe, you know? Yeah, well, people don't do that for now. So the big question is, what's in it for you? Becky's happy. She knows she let you down and she's very grateful you've given her another chance. She'll soon get sick of me. People always do. She knows you're inside out. But she loves you anyway. Well, that's family for you. Sugar's good for stress. Shock. It's not the same. What are you doing? You're not split ends, you need a trim. I'll ask a hairdresser. A proper hairdresser, not the boy who brushes up. Right, come on. I need your strand. <sighs> What's good for guilt? I'll have a big dollop of that. You know, some colour would really lift that. Well, I'm not talking blonde streaks or all cheesy like that. Right, just, just ignore him. Ignore him. Right, come on. Turn that frown upside down. Accidents happen. Yeah, I'm always looking for models. I have to live there. Every time I squelch my way to the bathroom, I picture Rita's face. Oh, what's this trouble in paradise? Have you not got a Barney to butcher or something? If you change your mind, you know where to find me. Yep, the fast track to nowhere. No, a little place called Home Sweet Home. You might have one one day. Oh, you're a dark horse. And they're dark horse, sir. <laughs> oh, did you know about this, David? Well, he did consult me, yeah, me being the king of bling. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, it can't be much of a surprise, can it? Beautiful girl, baby on the way. These days, yes, it is a surprise, but it's a wonderful one. Do you really mean that? Of course I mean it. Oh, darling, why wouldn't I mean it? Oh, now, please, don't start, because you'll start me oh, up. Happy the hormones raging. No, oh, no, it's not. <laughs> you better get used to it. It's just you have to be nice to me at work. That'll work. Oh, rubbish. Wait, <laughs> I'm nice to you because I think you're a lovely girl. 
and you can be very good for him. Mm. I mean, all those other stroppy slappers I used to go for. Wow. <laughs> Do you mind? Oh, shoot me now. Oh, no, Maria, not you, of course, no. But they never made him happy, darling, and you will. I'm delighted you're joining the family. Yeah, even though Platt is a better surname than Tildesley. Well, she might keep Blakeman. She won't keep Blakeman. Oh. Have I missed something? Oh, hi, Mum. Uh, you've saved us a trip. Me and Natasha just got engaged. Today? Yeah, today. Yep, in front of the whole factory. Wish I'd been there. <clears throat> So we're going to go to the Rovers to celebrate. Uh, the drinks are on us. You are still coming to the house? Well, uh, I've got plans. If you don't mind me uh, whisking my fiancé off. You whisk away. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think the word you were grasping for is congratulations. Tell me, I'd love to know, what do girls do with your old engagements? What are you asking me for? Well, I've bought a few, and this fella has a South African mine named after him. Oh, well, there's me thinking he was the loyal type. Oh, God loves it, Troyer. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you haven't answered my question. It's a bit like fishing, isn't it? Is it? Yeah, if you've got any sense, you keep hold of the whoppers and you throw the little tiddles back. <laughs> so, where's Fizz? Um, she said she was coming. Well, what would you do? Veg out at home on the sofa with a massive family-sized bag of Wotsits or cram your bloated little trotters into a pair of killer heels for this? Uh, this is Natasha's engagement party. I know, exactly. I mean, who wants to watch us lot raving on when you're up the Wotsit? No offence. It's not a dirty word, Sean. I know, and I'm not anti-pregnancy per se. I mean, in fact, I'm quite jealous. Gives you your own personal get-out-of-jail-free card. You are? Could you move that bin, love? No, sorry, I can't do. My placenta's playing no. up. <laughs> oh, Gail, I'm glad you could make it. Well, I'm hardly going to stay at home twiddling my thumbs the day my firstborn son announces his engagement. Even though I am the last in Wenfield to know. Well, that's Nick. Spontaneous. I would have thought. A glass. Oh, just a drop. I don't understand the fuss about this stuff. It doesn't seem fair, you being or just juice. That's all hype, that. I mean, look at Sarah's friends in Italy. Eight months gone, glass of Chianti in one hand and a goat she's see a in the other. And I mean, look how their children turn out. It's happening, Mum. Like it or lump it. You're right. What arm can one glass do? Cheers. Oh, cheers. 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 Go through the motions if you must. Well, hey, Dolphins, I'll save you the walk. Four twenty, please. And a bag of nuts for yourself. Evening, soldier. You've been keeping a low one. Ah, big family, lots of good pies. And a girl in every part, I bet. Cheers. No, not my style. Don't tell me you're too busy to have a drink, will Look, clock's ticking. I'm meeting a mate, a good mate. So I'll uh, see you around. Yeah. You looked thirsty. Attractive and observant. I'll drink to that. There's, uh, there's some seats over there. Do you want to sit down? No, I'm all right here. Yeah. yeah, well, I'm not. There's only so much I can take of Bridezilla. Come on. <laughs> I know your game. Do you? You're just sulking because she's not asked you to be page boy. <laughs> page boy. I am really pleased for you, you know, after everything that's happened. Uh, yeah, it's been a bumpy ride. I might kill at Christmas. I'm going to be a dad and I'm going to be a husband. Who developed it, eh? Yeah, I've got a family I never knew I wanted. And now you've got them? I'm never going to let them go. <laughs> Could have locked the door. I tried the house and I saw the lights on in here. What are you playing at? Look at this. You'll not believe it. What? Natasha's medical records. Are you mad? That is confidential. You could lose your job. In fact, you should lose your job over this. She's a determination. Well, that's none of your business, though. Over four weeks ago, she's been lying to us all, including me. No, no, it's a mistake. It's a computer error. It happens all the time. Not on this system. Matt Carter's a stickler. 
Well, that explains everything. The tears, the weirdness. Oh, no. Can't be. I mean, what possessed her? Well, we'll find out soon enough. Why, are you going to tackle her? What, and listen to more lies? No. I'll speak to Nick. You saying I should keep my mouth shut? I am saying just box clever. Because if you blurt all this out, it might blow up in your face and you might lose your job. Or you might lose your son. Yep, same again. Uh, no, actually, how much is your cheapest bottle of sparkling wine? Ain't cheap enough. Well, I don't want sparkling wine. I don't feel like celebrating. Celebrating what? Adoption panel approved us. Not that there was ever any doubt. Right. Worries on that score. <laughs> I wear the trousers in my house. I do. I'm sure you do, mate, yeah? When she's out. Same again, over here. Sweetie, if he makes one more crack about the adoption. Like, chill out. Don't let him get to you. There's a pit we can't fit a swing in our garden. Oh, give it a rest, Eddie. I always wanted a swing as a kid. Had to make do with an old tire on the end of a rope. Neighbours must have thought an orangutan had moved in. Oh, they weren't wrong. Adoption panel didn't think I were an ape. Or if they did, I don't know what that makes you. Right. That's it. Out. Huh? You've been getting at our back ever since you walked in. Now do Tell one. Tell your sister to wind her neck in, will you? If it wasn't for people like her, they wouldn't need decent folk like us to adopt. Out. And you're bad. Well, let's see these uh, famous trousers of yours then. What's going on? He was just leaving. He's bad. Bad? Bad. Bad. On the day my lad's gone to fight for Queen and Country, it's a flaming disgrace. Happen Gazette will have something to say about this. Get on, will you? Bar our punters. You should think himself lucky. They almost sacked him from your taxi firm and all. I can't believe I'm hearing this. And you? I can't believe you went along with it. She was sticking up for me. I didn't see anybody else doing it. And she's right, he was asking for it. Look, he has just waved his son off to Afghanistan. How's it gonna look when word gets round? Well, there's no point apologising to me, is there? It's them we got to patch things up with. Serve there. Three soldiers were seriously injured by an IED during a full oh, patrol in the remote village. Oh, hello. All right. Uh, we won't keep you long. Becky just wanted to... Me? Yes, you. Sorry. Didn't quite catch that, sweetheart. Sorry. Er... Uh, There'll be a free drink waiting for you when you next come in. If we could just put all this behind us. I've forgotten all about it, to be honest, but that's very nice of you, thanks. And I apologise if he upset you earlier. Adoption's a total lottery. I'm dead sorry you didn't have better luck. Uh, cheers, cheers. Uh, we hope it turns out all right for you, too. So you're going to get off to Afghanistan, OK? And... Excuse me. We'll see ourselves. Oh, what? I was just trying to make conversation. Why don't you just punch her in the stomach? It'd have been quicker. Oh, come, come on! He's not out of the woods yet. Enjoying the view? Proud of yourself, are we? You're supposed to be your mate. Ashley, come away. Your mate! Well, I, I don't know what... I didn't mean to do all. This isn't helping, love. You should be locked up, you. Let the police handle it. He's not going anywhere. Mr Peacock, I'm DC Redfern. Wouldn't it be possible to have a word? That's who you should be talking to, him. David Platt. I'm interviewing Mr Platt in due course. First, I'd like to go over your witness statement. Is there somewhere we can go? How cute do you look? You do realise he's a boy. He's a baby. Sorry, mate. Your auntie Becky doesn't do the whole style. Um, hello. I'm sorry. I forgot that you were such a fashion guru. Don't ever dress like your uncle Max. I took pity, right? But most girls, they ain't as nice as me. <laughs> Morning. Hi, sweetie. Good night. You're flaming up, so feeling like this. Uh, that's Becky's. If you don't mind. Mm. Are you still okay to have Max? Of course. I'm going to take him to play group. That should keep him entertained for a few hours. Oh, you're mm. the best. We'll be good. I'm back off to bed. Hold up, what about work? Mm, I'll get this morning off. Top bloke, that one. 
Don't say it. I'll be there as soon as I can. And thank you for all your help. Bye. Well, Graham's still critical, but stable. Surprised the hospital gave you that information. I just gave him a sob story. I said it were his brother in America. Still got your wits about you then? Thanks. Never know how much you take. David? What is it? Just everything's black. If, if I try and remember, that's all I see. Give it time. You're still in shock. Does everyone think I try to kill him? It's not what others think. It's what you know. You taught me that. But that's it, Mum. I don't know anything. If It's all just a blur. Then maybe we can fill in the gaps together. How? It might help if you told me about the fight in the pub. It weren't a fight. It was just a stupid disagreement. Well, it seemed a lot more than that. Mum, don't even go there, right? You were angry and upset when you took the car. Wait, not enough to run Graham over. What do you think I am? Some kind of a psycho? I had an accident. End of. We both know it's not as simple as that. I know I never meant to hurt Graham. Whatever else I've forgotten, I know that in here. I believe you. Sorry I'm late. You won't believe the morning I've had. My stomach's doing that many flip-flops it could be on Britain's Got Talent. In such circumstances, a phone call is normally deemed appropriate. Seriously, Ray. Roy. I deserve a flaming medal, not the third degree. Oh, hi, baby. <laughs> How's he been? He's been smashing. Mm. He's got a bit grotty in the last ten minutes, though. Well, that's because he's hungry. Sort that in a jiffy. Hmm? You watch him go through that. Excuse me, uh, no, one pound twenty, please. Come again? You expect us to pay for that? Well, it is common practice when food is consumed on these premises. Well, what happened to free grub? I'm afraid that perk applies to staff only. All right, Ebenezer, stop trying to embarrass me. Take it off my wages. Oh, I, I would, only given this morning's unauthorised absence, technically you haven't logged any hours this week. Uh, come again? You told me out morning off. I wasn't aware of any such arrangement. Yeah, well, I was sick. You were hung over, and I apologise to Roy. What, for throwing a sick eh? At least I sure do. Apologise to Roy. Perhaps you should take the afternoon off. Why not make it rest at week? Look, be warned. If you should take that course of action, I will be forced to consider termination. All right, Anna, keep your eye on. Kai. I'd be grateful if you left the premises. With pleasure. Come on, love. Food's rubbish here anyway. And you know where you can put that. OK. No more lies. What happened between you and Graham? What? You heard your man. I told you it was just a mix-up between mates. Is that why your so-called mate had to be dragged off you by Dev and Steve? David, I want the truth. Fine, all right, have it your way. Do you remember the night that I walked Tina home from here? A couple of weeks ago. Yeah, we'd both visited Joe's grave. We talked. Over the bottle of wine. Well, what's that got to do with it? When I got back to Tina's, she let me up. Oh, I'm dreading this already. We had a couple of cans, um, talked about stuff, and uh, it was dead relaxed until... And I seriously don't know what I was thinking. I must have misread the signs or whatever, but I tried to kiss her. She went ballistic, uh, it got weird, and I left. And that's it? Basically. Yes or no? Yes. And am I right in assuming that Tina told Graham, hence this fight? Yeah, I guess. Well, I don't understand. All this animosity over a kiss? Um, no, not exactly, you see. Graham has got it into his head that I tried to rape Tina, but I swear on Bethany's life, it never, never even came close to that. All right? You just gotta believe me, I am not that person. I admit it was wrong of me to make a move on Tina, but sh she's blown this all out of proportion. I'm not finished with you. I 
I'm really scared. It's the police. David Platt. I'm arresting you on suspicion of the attempted murder of Graham Proctor. We'll follow you there. Yeah, all right. Be on for you now. Watch you there. Where's the phone? She's only gone and got herself the bullet. You've dragged me halfway across Manchester just to tell me that. I'll find another job, easy. When? Totally sneak cleaning. Do you mind? I'm talking to my sister. I'm just... I'm ashamed of you. Look, I know you care about Roy. Save it. Now, you did this on purpose. Excuse me? Busted. Look, he's the one who flew off the island. Riley, island. shut it. You can't kid a kidder. OK. Say for argument's sake, you're right. What are you going to do about it? Me. You. Get over there. I'm going to ask for your job back. What? You heard me, and I don't care if you have to beg. It is one thing disrespecting me. Whatever. But my Roy. And if I say no? Because like said. There's a mountain bucket out there. That's a question, uh, Mr Proctor, but they do have an eyewitness statement saying you appeared to make no attempt to stop or to avoid the victim. Now, I'm guessing... They're going to try and link this to the fight. It weren't a fight. Tina just told Graham that I tried it on with her. And this Tina, she's your ex-girlfriend, is that correct? Yeah. Look, honestly, it was nothing, just crossed wires. If that was the case, why did they need to drag Mr Proctor off you? And why did you steal your grandmother's car? I borrowed the car. Well, unfortunately, I doubt the police will see it that way. Well, that's their problem. David, please, I'm on your side here, but you need to understand the seriousness of your situation. You have been arrested for attempted murder. Thanks, I had noticed. Good, because in order to obtain a conviction, the investigating officer will seek to establish a motive. And a simmering feud over a former lover is a pretty decent place to... Okay. I'm sure the police are just trying to establish the cause of the accident. Ma'am, they've arrested him. Oh, Gail, even you must agree it looks bad, especially after what he told us. David should be in hospital. You saw how confused he was when they led him away. I doubt he could tell you the date, let alone defend himself. Yes, well, that's why we're employing such an expensive solicitor. He won't be able to stop that detective twisting the truth to suit him. Please, have some faith. You don't know what they're like, ma'am. Sorry. I can't just sit by and watch while they hang my son out to Where are you dry. going? I'm going to talk to Tina. Oh, Gail, please. If I'm to help David, I need to know the truth. Oh. <sighs> You've insisting you have absolutely no recollection of the incident. That's because it's true. All right. Let's say for one moment I decide to give you the benefit of the doubt. What I'm still failing to hear is the why. I don't know. Excuse me, but how much longer is this going to take? My client was hospitalised last night. He's tired. And the sooner I start getting some answers, the better. I'm OK. Continue. So, I will. OK, you stick to your story. This is what I know. You had no detectable alcohol or drugs in your system. So, unfortunately for you, we can rule out driving under the influence, as well as any related cognizant effects. Also, according to the medical report, you suffered no significant trauma to the head or otherwise. Hang, hang on, I, I was knocked out. For maybe two minutes. Resulting in mild concussion. You got lucky. It's a shame I can't say the same thing about Mr Proctor. All right, so having heard all that, you see my problem. I've looked for a way to support your version of events, and there isn't one. And that only leaves one possibility, and that is you're lying I'm to not. me. Come on, David. The love of your life rejected you. Graham almost gives you a paste in, and you're not having it. So you take your nan's car, and you drive it straight through him, like a knife. You can't remember, because you don't want to. Hello, love. Hello, Graham. Hello, Graham. Hello, love. You shouldn't be here. I know. How is Graham? Why don't you ask David? Or is he still in America? He was worried. <laughs> I bet. 
13 of the police have arrested him. Good, and about time, too. Look, I know you're still angry. Uh, you, you have no idea how I feel, Gail. None. I think we both know that I do. What do you want from me? The truth. After all that we've suffered together, I think you owe me that, at least. Kylie's got so much to say. He's waiting. Sorry for taking advantage, like. Jackie can't do it. See, I'm not too clever when it comes to the commitment, Lark. Don't get me wrong, our graft don't bother us, but. but it's the routine, the nine to five. What can I say? I'm a free spirit. You meant to be selling yourself. I'm grateful you give us a chance, but let's not kid ourselves, eh? I'm the last person a sweet, caring bloke like you wants working for him. And because of that, I understand that you can't unsack me. So, thanks for your time. Ooh, you are so dead. One moment. While I applaud your refreshing honesty... You do? I think it will be fair to say that I'm less than enamoured by your performance and attitude. Basically, you suck. I, I also believe that change comes from within and that a helping hand is sometimes necessary. Is this your way of saying I've got my job back? Be here, 8 o'clock sharp. Royston, you are such a star! Out. <laughs> I don't know what you crazy guys did today, but it went off like that. Where are you going? Time to meet you, mate. Yeah, you're out last night. Yeah, it's called being young and popular. Well, you could call it taking liberties. Only if your sisters isn't the coolest. Yeah, well, I don't make it a late one. As it? I mean it. Royston's expecting you at eight. That's doable. Sorry, is that AM or PM? I'm joking. Can I go or not? Like I could even Get stop ready? you. Mm -hmm. Love you. This is ridiculous. Oh, give you what am I supposed to do? Well, oh, I don't know. Grow a backbone. Oh, the human jellyfish really wants to go there, does he? <laughs> Look, I know I'm a pushover. There's no argument there. That is why we are the perfect couple. Me poodle, you pit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to be a good sister, baby. Yeah, I know that, babe, but the trouble is, so does Kylie. Released on bail, pending further investigation. <sighs> Wanna see me again tomorrow? You look exhausted. Have you eaten anything? Not hungry. What did you tell them? Not a lot, really. Surprised they even let me go. If Graham dies, Mum, I'm finished. I mean, game over. The more I listen to myself, the more I'm surprised you even buy my story. I went to see Tina. I know what went on in a flat. Why did you lie to me about what happened? I didn't. Then I can only assume you can't remember. David, I want to believe you. Oh, she do. Just like I believed in you, you mean? Cheers, Mum. You're the best. There's tea in the pot. I'd rather have coffee. Come and sit down, David. I'm just trying to understand what happened. Join the club. Well, you're going to have to do better than that when you talk to the police this afternoon. I told you, I don't remember anything. Would you prefer I made something up? No, of course not. 
I'm sorry, officer, my foot slipped on the accelerator. I was blinded by the kebab shop lights. People saw what happened, David. There were witnesses. You're not listening to me. I said I don't remember anything. How many different ways would you like me to say it? I understand how hard it's been for you seeing Tina with Graham. Shut up, all right? Just stop talking. My best friend is in hospital because of me and I think I might be losing it. The police Just... think your best friend's in hospital because you attacked his girlfriend and ran him over. It's called motive. Get off me, all right? It wasn't like that. Is that what you're going to tell the police? It wasn't like that? You don't believe a word I'm saying, do you? It doesn't matter what I think. You're my mother. Of course it does. Morning. Hello. Someone seems very chirpy this morning. Get a good night's sleep, did you? Yeah. Hmm. How did Lady Gaga get in last night? Uncle Steve's just grumpy because she slept in our bed last night. I like your bed. Yes, I like my bed and all. Come on now, it was only a night out. Well, when are we going to get a night out? I mean, it seems like it's been ages. So you want to go clubbing? Really? Well, it's better than sitting in and watching Alvin and the Chipmunks for the 14th time. Look, the more you do for her, the more she's going to take advantage. Mother, it's seaside. Come here. Hey, kiddo. How's it going? Oh, so I was last night then. Thought you staggered down about dinner time with a banging head and someone else's top on. Nah, got me hangovers beat now. If I stick to lager and tequila, I can go all night. Chip off the old block. So come on then. Where did you go? We kicked off at Northern Quarter. Mm -hmm. Got chucked out of a KFC. Mm -hmm. and did a big row with this gang of drag queens down Canal Street. <laughs> I say row. You were a dead good laugh in the end, actually. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so my big news is, on my travels, I bump into my mate Cassie from school. Always looked up to her. Nose ring, tears tattooed down the one cheek. And she went first in our class to get an asbo. I'm guessing you didn't bump into her at the theatre. No, the place the drag queens took us. She's asked me to go to Iron Apple with her. A load of them going, last minute thing. It's a real bargain. Yeah. I'm so excited. Got to meet her at the travel agents at lunch. Put down a deposit. Whoa, whoa, hang on a minute. Iron Apple? Sorry, can't be late for work. I say, oi, what about Max? Oh, what be long? I'm just taking our Max into town for some new shoes. How many pairs of shoes does one kid need? Oh, for your money. He deserves to be spoiled a bit. Look, does it not even slightly bother you that his mum is flitting us at the drop of a hat? Yes, of course. It's only a couple of weeks, isn't it? <laughs> During which you get to be full-time mummy. Well, that's probably not even crossed your mind, has it? Stevie, it's an holiday. Anyway, I'm practically full-time with him now, aren't I? So... Have you squared this with Roy? You're having all this time off? Well, it happened I'll do a couple of shifts for myself, as I'll push. You're a fool. No, I ain't. See ya. Ah, she seems happy. She's great with Max, isn't she? Can't get enough of him. <laughs> uh. <laughs> what the hell are you doing here? Graham. Come to finish off the job, put a pillow over his face. Look, I swear to you, I I'd never hurt you. Are you mad? You did this? It's all right, Tina. Graham! Please. I don't know what happened, honestly. You have played some pretty nasty tricks in your time. And you know what? Shame on me for letting you get away with them for so long. Graham, I swear to you, mate. But I am going to make sure that you get sent down for this. Not just for me, but for Tina, for Jason, for Gail, for everyone you've ever hurt. And when I've finished, mate, I hope they throw away the key. Well, do you blame him? Hey? Oh. Gail, come on. After all that lad did for you, when you were accused of much the same, I mean, he never wavered for a second supporting you. You haven't spoken to Tina. Oh, please. All that nonsense about them having a fight. She's had it in for David for months, that girl. She'd say anything to get him into trouble. You should have seen her, ma'am. He really scared her. She was really shaken up. Where have you been? I've been worried. 
What, that I've been out nicking cars and mowing down bus queues in my dinner hour? Are you all right, sweetheart? I went to see Graham. He thinks I did it and all, same as her. He's awake. Well, that's wonderful. You went to see him. David, you're on bail. Well, I thought he might be able to help. I'd tell the coppers that I'd never do out like that, or maybe even tell me what happened. You still don't remember anything? How many times? Why would I want to kill one of the only people in my life who actually cares about me? No, he's pulled some stunts in his time. Some just as bad as this. It's just... In his eyes, you know? Confusion. What are you saying? Well, I don't know. You don't know how frantic he was when you were on remand, Gail. How hard he fought to help you. I'm just wondering, you know... Well... If it was the strain of all that, I mean, what if he's had a kind of a breakdown? Oh, please, now you're really... Hi, sweetheart. Come on. Brew here for you. What are you doing? I'm not going back inside. David, don't be so ridiculous. This isn't the fugitive. You're not Harrison Ford, and I am certainly too old to be rounding up a posse and chasing you around the country. My best friend thinks I did it. My own mother thinks I did it. What chance have I got with a jury of strangers? It might not get that far. Yeah, well, I'm not about to find out. Yeah. So where are you going, huh? You're due at the police station in an hour. They'll put out a warrant for your arrest. They'll pick you up in no time, and then you'll be ten times worse off than you are already. You just have to face this, David. Tell the truth. I am telling the truth, but nobody's listening. I don't remember anything. <laughs> What's that doing? Hey, I believe you, sweetheart. Come on. What's that? Nobody is this good an actor. Ah, uh, Maxie, all right. Sat in front of the telly with Amy. Guess what they're watching? Um, your Mad Men box set. And I'll be kicked off with that, but the social satire went right over the rails. I'll never cheat more. Give that girl an acorn. Ah, oh, little acorn. Um, look, um, I know that part of you is really looking forward to having Max to yourself while Madam's away, but uh, do you really think he's old enough to understand? Well, I explained to him when we were out shopping that she were off away for a bit, but she just didn't seem that bothered. Says it all, really, doesn't it? Got me tickets, passport sorted, so I'm ready like Freddy. Hey! <laughs> Kelly? Listen, love, I really ain't got no problem you going on your holidays, but uh, you have only just got Max back from social and he's been from pillar to post this last few months. Look, the last it? thing that little lad needs is for his mum to abandon him again. Two weeks is a long time at that age. Abandoning him? He's coming with me. Cassie's bringing her two little ones and all. He's going to love it. <laughs> We're not getting very far here, are we, David? I told you, I just don't remember. So you're sticking with your I have no recollection bit, are you? I'm not playing games here. Graham's my mate. I've never hurt him. So you keep saying. It says here you spent some time together at Young Offenders. What a nasty grudges can build up in those places. Right, you know nothing about me and him, all right? He's the reason I got out of that place without losing my mind, so... We've had a chance to talk to Mr Proctor, now he's regained consciousness, and he confirms what Tina's already told us. That you had a big fight, then a few hours later you're running at him full pelt in your grand's car. Are you saying those two things are unrelated? Well, I never meant to run him over. I don't even remember seeing him. So it's just a coincidence, is it? You run him down after a big barney about your ex? I told you, I finished with Tina ages ago. Confirming that you also had a fight with her, yeah? She says he got physical. Oh. Miss McIntyre hasn't pressed charges, has she? I can't think. My head's killing me. The reports also come back on your grand's car. No sign whatsoever of mechanical failure. So why didn't you put the brakes on when you saw Graham? You see my problem here, can't you? David? Can I go home now? Great now. David Platt, you're charged with the following offence. On Friday the 15th of October in Weatherfield in the county of Greater Manchester, you attempted to murder Graham Proctor, contrary to common law. What? Can he do this? Just listen, David. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention now something which you later rely on in court. Anything you say will be given in evidence. This can't be happening. 
Why will no one believe me? Morning. Have you had breakfast? I'll get you some. Go on for a walk. Where's that? Well, I mean, is it allowed? Well, right now I can do what I want. Could be locked up by the end of the day. Well, don't be too long. Leave yourself time to get ready for court. What time are we going? Wait. You're not coming. Of course I am. What, so you can do your big teary-eyed thing? And have people say, oh, look at her, poor woman, after all she's been through and how a psycho son goes and does this. Don't be silly. I want to be there for you. But you don't believe me. Tell them it was an accident. See you later. Ah. If you're trying to butter me up for something, you can forget it. Well, if you don't need a hand, because if it isn't you banging on about your own, it's Liz whinging about that flipping new bar. Once novelty's worn off, it'll bomb. You watch. But people will be going there instead of here because it's new and we're relying on a good Christmas to get us through January. And then, 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 then. I'm off to Roy's. Can I come here before you go, love? Come here. It's holiday. Right. Now, you do know how stupid it is to even think about taking Max and Will, like I and Appa. Well, I didn't pick it. It's just where Cassie's going. I know, but it isn't for kids. You'd be out clubbing, getting ratted. You can't do it to him. It's not fair. And never mind all that anyway, because the social services will never agree to it, so... Well, they won't know unless somebody tells them. Bex, look, it's the chance of a holiday. And it never happens. I know, love. But if you can afford to go there, then you can afford to go somewhere that suits Max better. Well, what if I go on this one and Right, then... I don't think you're getting what I'm saying here, Kylie. I and Appa with your mate. Now, if she wants to go out all night and leave her kids, then fine, whatever, that's her business. But you're not doing that with our little Max, well, no get way. Get off my case, will ya? Would it suit you better if I left him behind? Well, I... Just like it here with you. You wouldn't have to worry about him. Neither would social services. Finally, with a customer needs serving. Dave has been waiting for quite some time. Okay. Okay. Oh God, you might as well be for you she have been today. Are you going to serve him? Uh, right toast! Anyway, he oh. keeps me waiting in his shop. Now he knows what it's like. On me way, don't panic. Because <laughs> she's about as much use as a brain surgeon with a twitch. I do not think that you are going to get served any time soon here. Stevie! What, can I get excuse you? Me, excuse me, just uh, first, uh, do you think that I can have a coffee here before I die of caffeine withdrawal? Sorry about your weight. One coffee. Steve. Same time. Becky send ya. No, I'm at streetcars, why? She, uh, wants to take Max on holiday to Ironapa with a mate. Excellent. Really? Uh, do you think I could have a coffee before you go? Only be a minute. I've got a better idea. Well, you couldn't possibly have a worse one. I'm going to leave Max with Becky. And if I've got a spoon on my own, everybody's happy. OK, first of all, Iron Apple's not in Spain. It's in Greece. Is it? <laughs> no, it's uh, Cyprus, actually. And the different Cyprus, Greece. Well, you could say. But anyway, anyway, look, you can't just swan off and leave your son. You've only just got custody. I don't suppose there's any chance of me asking for 100 quid towards Miss Benz. Give me one good reason why I should help you. Because you'd like me to be thousands of miles away? Well, that is a good reason. It's not good enough. Sorry. Do you want a cup of tea? Please let me come. Why? To support you. Like you supported me. I supported you because I believed you were innocent, not because I thought I ought to. Hi. Hi, Mum. So, how are we this morning? Well, considering they're about to lock me up and throw away the key, I'm on top of the world. At least I won't have to live with her. Now, what have you been saying? Nothing. Well, good. It's a pity you didn't keep your thoughts to yourself a bit sooner. 
Ma'am, I'm just trying to get my head around what happened. Please don't tell me you haven't had your doubts. Look, if I had wondered, which I don't, I wouldn't have been so thoughtless as to say so to him. Oh, so you didn't consider it thoughtless when you accused me of killing Miles? I did not accuse you. I asked you. I mean, there is a world of difference so, there. tell me, ma'am, what's the view like from up there, the moral high ground? Can't be one you're used to. No. Uh, sausage balm, brown sauce, please. Uh, bottle. Here is. Looks to me like you've got an admirer there. What do you reckon? Simple the way I was looking at you. Mind, you were looking at him in exactly the same way. Not that I blame you. No, he helped me out this morning, that's all. <laughs> Pound to a penny, he asked you out before long. Well, I'll keep you informed. Right. That's me finished, Roy. One moment. The reprimand I gave you earlier, it doesn't appear to have got through. Of course it did. Well, not from the poor performance I've been witnessing. And the, and the music, it, 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 it must happen again. Have well, they said the same thing to Anna about her radio? Well, firstly, she doesn't allow it to affect her work. And secondly, well, it's just very different. Extenuating circumstances, you could call it. Whatever. Can I go now? Of course. And tomorrow must be your last chance. Well, don't have to worry about me tomorrow. I promise. I suppose that till we're safe enough if there's somebody else at the wheel. Oh, don't be so pathetic. Ignore it. And listen, the sooner he's off the streets, the better, really. Just get in the car, David. And David, I bet Tina rues the day she ever met your family, right? All right, Dad, you've made your point. Whatever happened to innocent until proved guilty? Well, I told her straight, there is no swanning off and leaving us with Max. She has to knuckle down, be a good mother. Really? Well, worse to that effect. Firm, but fair. And you reckon you got through, do you? Absolutely. Quite proud of myself the way I handled it, actually. And Dev was well impressed, I could tell. Well, excellent stuff then, Mr McDonald. I shall reward you later. Uh, sorry to intrude, Liz set me through. What's up, Royston? It's, uh, it's Kylie. Uh, it's money missing from the till. You sure? There is no doubt. Right, come on. It did seem to be something on her mind this morning. Well, she's probably waiting for a chance to get to the till. This money wasn't under a quid by any chance, was it? Actually, yes, sir. How do you know? She tried to borrow it off me to take an holiday with her. From when? She, she's on a road to, to work for tomorrow. She's gone. All the stuff. I'm going to kill her. Royston, I am so, 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 so sorry, man. It's hardly your fault. Look, my mummy. Oh, darling. I'll, um... Shh, I'm, I'm sorry, sweetheart. I didn't mean it. She's just popped out for a bit, your mummy. She'll be back soon. Everything all right? Oh, you're fine. I mean, waiting is the hardest part, don't I say? It might be for you. I've just had a word with the usher. The court's running a tad late, so you just have to sit tight for a little while longer. Okay. Excuse me. Yeah. What's she doing here? Oh. I'm gonna have a word. No, you're not. Grunting. Look, David, it'll only finish up with a slanging match. Which is probably what she wants anyway. Anything to show you in a bad light. How's Max? He's good as gold. Not like a light. He asked where his mother was. Steve, it's more likely to ask who his mother is than where she is. How can she not say goodbye to him? Well, she had no intention of taking him, did she? I know, and I should have known this is what she'd do. I'm telling you, when she gets back, it'll be like we all agreed to this. She'll even bring me a flaming straw donkey. Look, that's Spain. What's that? Found it in his bed. Oh, I dread to think. She left it where she knew I'd be the one to find it. 
And she says she's sorry. Yeah, of course she is. And get this, she wants us to apologise to Roy on her behalf. Flaming cheek. You know, I'm only surprised she hasn't said she was forced to nick the money because I wouldn't lend it her. She did. You okay? I'm sure it'll all work out. Right, we're up next. Oh! David? It's all very straightforward, apart from the application for bail. Oh! David! David, my sweet girl. You stay with her, I'll be having some help. Yes, okay. and please hurry up. David? David? Oh, hello. Anybody? Is there a doctor anywhere? It's not a doctor he wants, Audrey. It's acting lessons. I'm warning you, not now. Could you phone for an ambulance? Right, I saw exactly what happened. He went down in slow motion so he didn't bang his head. Oh, do you know, I wish I'd done first aid. Do you know any first aid? No, and even if I did. You really are a cold-hearted little so-and-so, aren't you? He's got to keep it a straight face, isn't he? I'll give him that. If you weren't here, I'd tickle him. Oh, shh. What happened? I don't know. He just fell over. David. Can't believe she's done it. Really, I can. And you're just going to sit there doing that like none of this matters? Well, unless anyone's got any better suggestions. You should have gone after her. Yep. If you cared about me or my family, you'd be on the way to the airport right now. You never suggested that. Well, I didn't think I'd have to. What would I do if I found her? Confiscate her passport? Oh, it's just flipping typical of you, is that? I'd never get through passport control anyway. I don't know why they do it in them romantic comedies, because you'd never get through security. Is that all you're bothered about? Look, she has gone. She is gone because two weeks in the sun is a doddle compared to holding down a job and looking after a kidney. Little ears, thank you. Well, if you're going to put me on the spot, then yeah, all right, I admit it. One or two weeks without her running wild sounds like bliss. Now, how many fingers? One. Poke him in the eye of it, then we'll see who he's fainted. Who's the Prime Minister? Well, the two of them. It's David Cameron. Well, David Cameron. Well, it doesn't work if you're giving the answers. I'm doing my best, OK. Oh, have you told them? Case postponed. Is Case right? postponed? Should this one even be talking to us, please? Oh, well, it's not through choice, believe me. Here they are. Oh. You needn't bother, it's on the night. Look, would you just go home? This is my grandson. Um, we think he's fainted. David, you'll never get away with it. They'll bunk it on your sentence. At least she's acknowledging her misjudgment. I suppose she'll want some time off. You ain't sacking her. Eight pence for the tea. Yep. And keep the change. What's this? She can owe it me, not thee. It is not your debt. It is now. I am not having you to out of pocket. Not when you were doing me a favour in first place. Were we? By employing her. We weren't doing you a favour, Becky. We were doing Kylie a favour. Look. You can dress this up whatever way you want, but would you have given her a job if she wasn't my little sister? I don't remember you being anyone's little sister. Do you know you've got an answer for everything you two, haven't you? Now, you are taking this money and you are putting it in that till. We are not. In the till, Roy, or the dog gets it. We don't want any money. Roy, Hayley, please, just take the money, put it in the till. Thank you. Let's both it. You don't have to make things difficult. He was about to go before the magistrates. I mean, he was standing right next to me. So I'm presuming you were anxious. Well, I've been accused of attempted murder. I've never been more anxious in my life. And have you ever blacked out before? Well, a couple of weeks ago, we were helping a mate move some boxes. And we'd all had a couple of cans. And then next thing I know, I'm waking up. And how long do you think you were out for? Probably a few seconds, but I don't remember feeling tired beforehand. I do remember this weird feeling as though I was underwater with, with all the sound slowed down, and I had that again today. And do you know what? David was involved in a car accident. I had the exact same feeling when it happened. Th that's, that's the last thing I remember just before coming round and seeing you. I didn't put those brakes on because I'd already passed out. There must be a connection there, shall I? Listen, this could be any number of things. Why what? Well, with the sensation you say you experienced, sound slowing down and so on, it's far too early to say without us running more tests, 
but it is possible you've been suffering from some form of epilepsy. Epilepsy? What? I haven't got epilepsy. I've never had epilepsy in my life. Look, I better phone your mother. No, don't! And by the way, don't think we're giving Roy that money back because I know what you're like. Um, I never said that we were. It's her debt. She wants to go round robbing. She could suffer the consequences. I'm not giving Roy that money back, so you can relax, because your precious wallet is safe. It's not about my precious wallet. Of course it is. She's not going to learn any responsibilities if we keep bailing her out. I wouldn't, would you? I'd just sit there laughing. Come in. Oh, hell, hello. Roy. Uh, come in, Roy. Don't be frightened. Uh, Liz, let me through. Well, sit down. No, no, come on, let's go through to the bar, because Stevie's doing his accounts. Uh, hang on, hang on. What's that? Well, I, I decided on reflection that I couldn't accept your very kind offer. What kind offer? Well, well the money. Oh, uh, what money is that, Royston? It's your sister's debt, and, and I think a better life lesson if she were encouraged to pay me back herself. Well, I really don't know what you're talking about here. But, but you came round to the cafe not, not half an hour ago. <laughs> I would have treated you just the same. Yes. I will get you that money back, though, Roy, I promise you. Well, we, we, we'll call it a loan for now, if, you, if you'll just speak to her, that is. I'm sure she'll put a call in at some point. Thank you. I'll leave you to your account. Epilepsy before I'm alive, but the doctor says it can just come on. Uh, how long will it take to get a proper diagnosis? I'll have to refer you to the neurologist, David, but I doubt they'll hang around. It's not life threatening at all, is it? If it is epilepsy, they'll get you on some medication straight away. Could they drop the case? Well, we'd still have to go through the courts. But we are agreed that I could have passed out before I crashed the car. Listen, I don't know how that could be proved. That isn't my department. But there's definitely a pattern, though, isn't there? Well, that would be a silver lining, eh? This will be any number of things, remember? The neurologist will have to carry out a brain scan, then he'll take it from there. Right. Well, if it proves my innocence, that's all I care about. But David, medically speaking... No, Grant, forget that. Legally speaking. Legally speaking, it can't hurt. Well, there you go, then. I'll take that. <sighs> David. I'm fine. Please. She knows you're getting a kick out of this, you know. What? Being the sensible one for once in your life. I am not getting a kick out of any of this, Steve. What, watching my own sister abandon her son? You're getting to spend more time with him. I'm picking up the pieces. Oh, so you wouldn't mind if she walked through the door right now? I can't help it if I'm enjoying spending time with him. But I wouldn't leave your sister in charge of a remote control, Becky. I do want her to be a good mum, though. Well, it's not fair. I know. We get turned down by the panel and flipping meanwhile... We've both had our moments in the past and we're paying for it now. There's no point whinging about it. Look, who wouldn't want to drop everything and fly off to Ironapa? <laughs> Why? Is that where you'd rather be? Look, I can't stand the way she's treating you. I can't stand the way she's treating Max, me mum, Roy. You name it, anyone she comes into contact with since she's walked through that door. She's family, though, Steve. Look, she is the one that took that money from our till the other week. You don't have to have a degree in economics to work that out. She swore me it on her. I caught her with her hand in your handbag. Who said? She, she, um... She came on to me to try and keep it quiet. She came on to you? I am still a catch, you know. Oh, well, what did she do? She tried her best, OK? What did you do? Well, what do you think I did? Well, you've kept it quiet, like she asked you, so I, I, I'm really not too sure here. Look, I told her to stop what she was doing, and then I would pretend it never happened. Yeah? Liar. Look, do you really think I'd be so stupid? Oh, so stupid. So that's the only thing that stopped you, is it? Look, I never laid a finger on her. Because, amongst other things, I love my wife. Tempted, though, weren't you? No, I was not. Not even one little kiss. She is not my type. Oh, she's me! And I'm your type! If anything, she's a newer model! She's practically a child, and she's my sister-in-law. And I'm sorry, do I have to say it out loud? I don't particularly like the girl. Well, that's a horrible thing to say about my sister. Look, I asked her to leave, OK? She threatened to... 
Take the lad with her. Forever. I was trying to protect her. Same reason why you lied about Roy's money. Little cow. Yeah, well, everyone's running round trying to protect her. No one else knows about this, then? Well, I might have mentioned it to Lord, but that's different. Are you bad? I nearly tried it myself once, fake fate in. Did you? When? But it, it's really hard to do because you're that worried about smacking your head on the floor or the corner of a table. That, oh. oh, tell me this is a wind up. Look, I've just come to explain it to you both. What is he doing here? <laughs> David, we're not fit. I might be epileptic. What? Do, do you remember the other day when I helped you shift them boxes? When you fell asleep? I'd passed out. Yeah, because you're a lightweight. Think about it. I'm not just going to fall asleep completely out the blue, am I? It comes on in stressful situations. What, like shifting boxes? Look, I've seen someone have a fit before and it was nothing like that. They were body popping and everything. There's different kinds of epilepsy. <gasps> oh, the expert. Look, I didn't slam on them brakes because I'd already blacked out. What, so you just happened to be driving in my direction when you suddenly had an epileptic fit? It's what I've been saying to you all along. I'm not going to try and kill you over some girl. Yeah, I'm some girl. Well, open your eyes. This explains everything. We're not having it. You are the motives to end all motives. Look, it might not be epilepsy. I mean, they're scanning my brain. It could be anything. Like evil. Could they diagnose you with being evil? But it is something. And they're going to find out what it is. And when they do, it'll prove I'm innocent. They'll see through it like a window. Get well soon, mate. I'm not you should hear the way Steve sometimes speaks to me. Probably knocked him up by now. What time was it you in court? Hours ago. And where my mum is, God only knows. He sat at home, refusing to pick up the phone. Debbie, will you stop staring? You're making it so obvious. No, I'm looking at the picture on the wall. That's David's mum. What the lad you just been on about? Mm. Anyway, what were you looking so sympathetic for? Well, for sentimental reasons. Oh, li listen, tell Graham that. There's nothing sentimental about having a car driven at your full pelt, right? <clears throat> no, I bet. Well, I hate to say it, but I don't even think David can get away with it this time. Mm. It's going to be a long, long time before he comes walking through that door, don't tell you. David! Mother. wonder where she is right now. She'll still be in the air, I expect. I wonder if she's thinking about him. I wonder if she's thinking about you. My mother with the kids. No, she's going up in a minute. She's busy sexting Owen. Oh, please. I know, multitasking, eh? She says she fancies going to Reykjavik or Berlin for nightlife. My mother clubbing in Berlin. I think Kylie's rubbing off on her. I think Owen's rubbing off on her. I wish you'd told me the truth, Steve. Why? Because I could have done something about it. I could have had it out with you. And then what would have happened? I just... I wish you'd take responsibility for once instead of sitting there hoping it'd all go away. Uh, I've been doing the flipping accounts. It's not just this, is it? It's everything. I mean, it... have you changed that light bulb in the kitchen yet? I ate allergen spotlight. So I've got to sort that as well, have I? As well as what? I'm going to make your mum with the tea. You just do what you want. Well, you can help her with the sexting while you're at it. Unbelievable. So what? For sure. Well, how long's a piece of string? Well, what if it isn't epilepsy? What if it's something worse? Well, look on the bright side. Look, I didn't mean to sound that. I'm just concerned about your health. And I'm concerned about my innocence. So am I, obviously. Anyway, I came to have a quiet drink with me, Grant, so if you won't mind, thanks for dropping by. Let me sit with you, just for one drink. I feel foolish, stood over there on my own. Do you know what, though, Mum? A flicker of doubt. That's all it was. A tiny little flicker of doubt. Unconditional love is supposed yes, to... Yes, I know that, other... ma'am. I love you so much, David. It's too late. No, it's not. We'll clear your name. And if you're ill, we'll make you better. When it mattered, Gail, you weren't there for me. Oh, David, don't go. 
She never had a flicker of doubt, and if she did, she kept it to herself. Thanks for the all upbringing thing, Mum, but it's time to call it a day. It's over. You're being absurd. And this time it isn't me. It's most definitely you. <laughs>